Hey YouTube, uh, bad news here. So apparently the uh, the upload for Pokemon Stadium 2 Part 5, the recording that I was doing on my side uh, crashed. I want to say like 98% of the way through the through the stream, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I went to record more of it, and about five minutes later, all of OBS crashed, not just the recording, causing a very uh, a very abrupt halt to the stream. So. Uh, if the quality here looks weird, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not up to my standard. To be truth be to, truth be told, but this is the backup, so you can still get the video by itself. Uh, I, like I said, I apologize. I usually try to keep uh, a better backup of this, but uh, you know, it, it just kind of happens. I may have to start shortening these video or the Pokemon Stadium videos to an hour each, just so that at, like, if the recording fails, I don't lose as much footage. So if you start seeing shorter parts, it's not because the streams are shorter. Uh, it's because uh, it's just a measure to make sure that I don't lose the recording altogether. So thank you for your understanding. Sorry that it happened. Hopefully it doesn't happen again in the future. Uh, hope you enjoy. Hello, YouTube. We are back with part five of Pokemon Stadium 2. We didn't make any progress last time. And that sucks. <laughs> so I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do better this time. I'm a different man. I'm showered. So my, my power is back. You missed it. I was just doing reps for chat. I'm all jacked up right now. I'm, I'm all, I'm all excited. Here we are. But uh, first things first, we gotta delete our old teams. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta reset the stage here. While I, uh, while I do this chat, let's start a poll. Is this the run? Yes or no? Last time I watched you Pokemon Stadium, you were losing the price. I beat Price at the end of that stream. I did. Uh, I did manage to beat him. It just took me a little while. Truly a great loss. <laughs> these teams going. I know, right? There were a couple of these teams that like seemed like they should have been better than they were. Some of them I just like. I just got like bad luck against the beginning ones, or I picked the wrong Pokemon. It's such a shame YouTube doesn't do channel points so that we could bet on these rather than just polls. Dude, I, I wish I could do channel points. If not if not for anything else, just to have gambling on stream. But uh, it doesn't let us. Oh, that's right. I gotta hold on. I gotta pop this open. Did I do another tab? For, how did I do this last time? Do I have the window still up somewhere? Hold on. I do. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay. Let's pull, uh, let's pull some Pokemon. Off the rip, Dodrio. Dodrio's not bad. Dodrio's got some pretty good, uh, it's got try attack and fly. That's not bad. God, I love gambling. <laughs> Clefable? Clefable was pretty good, too. Clefable, uh, just hit like a truck. Just spam double edge. It also has, or I'm sorry, spam headbutt. It does also have ice punch, but it could be pretty good against, uh, the dragons going forward. Mantine, my favorite water flying Pokemon. Sorry, Swanna and Pelipper. Uh, where is Mantine? Wing attack, waterfall. Those are, those are good moves. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Wing attack is pretty bad on Mantine because its attack is dog shit. But its special attack is pretty good, so waterfall still does decent damage. And it's got supersonic, I guess. It's not bad, but it's not as good as I want it to be either. Mill tank. Nobody hit the mill tank alert. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It is fast and it's got stomps, so we could go for the strats. It also, again, just knows ice punch and it does attract. Mill tank could be good. Supersonic when it uh, is uh, when it gets confused. Ray is gross. That is kind of gross, actually. Marowak. All M Pokemon. Okay. Bone rush. <laughs> Bone rush. Oh, that's awful. Ground type attack. The attacker uses a bone club to hit the foe two to five times. Horrible accuracy. 25 attack, though. It does also know Thrash, which isn't terrible. And Thunder Punch, I guess. But Thunder Punch isn't going to hit that hard because the special's not very good. Um, I missed it. Does Miltank have rollout? It does not. And Gengar. Gengar, a pretty good Pokemon. Let's see its moves. I'm going to predict... Hypnosis Dream Eater. That, I think that's what they would do to Gengar to make it bad. No, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Hypnosis nightmare instead. Are you fucking for real? <laughs> a move that makes a sleeping target have bad dreams. The victim will steadily lose HP. Cool. Night Nightshade's not bad. It's guaranteed 50 damage. And then Thief is a good dark move, but... I guess Thief actually does a decent amount with Gengar. Actually, how much damage does it do? 40. Ugh. It could be good, though. Because Gengar's special attack and speed is pretty good. But Hypnosis, dude? Oh, no. Uh, all right. Fine. 6-6. Six, six. I mean, they are actually all real usable Pokemon. Except maybe Marowak. Marowak with Bone Rush is pretty bad. Um... Let's see. Uh, don't get paralyzed. Uh, don't get... Okay. Don't get burned. Don't get confused. You can have the normal berry. You can have the freeze berry. You can have the sleep berry. All right. Ghost is still physical. Oh, is ghost physical in this, in this genre? Oh my god. Well, I don't think that affects Nightmare. I think I think Nightmare is uh, steady damage. I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it's the damage it does is based on Gengar's attack, attack stat. I, I went too far again. Thief steal, steal the item off the opponent Pokemon. It does, but I don't think they have like really good items yet, so it, it's not super useful. We need a new Pokemon Stadium. I'm I'm saying all they need to do is just basically give Pokemon Home, Pokemon Showdown mechanics, and then they would be fine. Make it free to play. There you go. Charge for a battle pass. You'll have a great time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Clefable swept this team last time, so we'll leave with Clefable. Uh, I'll bring Miltank for Stomps and then Dodrio. The first two, I don't really need to worry about their special or their weaknesses because I can just wall them. The Rave seen recently special are evolution types and every. Uh, yeah, the, the easy way to rem remember the physical special split, split is that every evolution type and dragon are special, and then everything else is physical. So, fire, uh, thunder, uh, water, ice, grass, uh, fairy doesn't exist yet. Uh, dark and psychic are, and then dragon are all the specials, and then ghost, normal, fighting, flying, uh forgetting one steel ground and rock i think are all the physical types i think that's that's right all right seven i think i got all of them by the way nick if you ever finish this game battle revolution has an actual randomizer mod does it i thought battle Re revolution was like unplayable sorry brother also, Clefable has a lot more defense than I thought they would. Or, I'm sorry, Clefairy. Yeah, of course you hit it. Why wouldn't you? Hush, be good. Oh my god. That's rude. Oh, this sucks. The Wii one? Nah, it's got a similar sort of story mode thing to Stadium. Does it? I thought it didn't... I thought the way it was in that game was that you couldn't... That you had, like, preset teams, so you couldn't pick the individual Pokemon. So, like, you just had, like, two or three teams that you could pick to do the Battle Revolution, but that was it. Oh, I'm just gonna... Let's just end this poll, by the way. Uh, 58% say no, this is not the run. 41% say yes, it is the run. CPU ac accuracy doesn't exist. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like it. Ooh, we got the flinch. That's pretty good. The white hot battle continues. The white hot battle continues. Ah, speaking of uh, speaking of randomizers and rom hacks and stuff like that, I looked into a uh, modding Duel Duelist of the Roses. So from what I can tell, you can't insert custom models or custom images on the cards in that game. So. I think the only thing you can do is you can change the names of cards, you can change their attack points, I think you can change their effects, maybe. You can change which equip cards work on them and stuff like that. So like I wanted to do a mo I, like make my own mod for Duelist of the Roses, just like I wanted to try and make like a Digimon one, but you can't I can't do it if I can't replace the uh the images. So I um 
I could try and make like a weird mod with it if I have the time, if the stream ever ends, but I, um, it's not on the top of my list, but I did look into it. It's a pretty close uh, split poll. I think they usually go for this. I feel like it's usually 50-50, unless I lose like twice in a row and then people start going, all right, he's not going to win. So much of this, uh, this battle has been so fun. It's been me asleep. <laughs> it's been great. This is the stream that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. That's what it feels like. Oh, I saw a YouTube vid for Pokemon Sword and Shield Digimon. I saw that there was a mod like that, but I thought it was only a couple of them. Like, it wasn't like the full roster, but that could be interesting. I would definitely do that. If you can find it, Knight, post it to the uh, Digimon tab. And I'll, I'll look into it. That's true. We, we can thank this, this bonus round, this, this extra 40 hours, thanks to Under. Under, you really gotta let other people pull some uh, pull some weight though. We can't keep relying just on under guys. If you guys want to extend the stream, some of you guys are gonna have to you know gonna, you gotta put up a little bit here. This Clefable is unstoppable, by the way. <laughs> I've been asleep twice and I've still taken out two, two and a half Pokemon basically. Because it, it kind of seems like right now that the stream ends when Under decides it ends. So. <laughs> Fuck that, you're here forever? I guess that's the answer. We'll see. Uh, I think Miltank is faster. Why did I headbutt instead of Ice Punch? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at chat. It's, it's easy enough to just mash a uh, headbutt. I'll do Ice Punch now. I don't think Miltank is really good special, though. Maybe I'll extend it to you, but, <laughs> but I want to wait till it's almost over. That's the way it should be done. Oh, yeah, that did do a lot. Look at that. I forgot Skip Loom was four times weak to Ice. I do my part of spending $2 on the premium. My bank account <laughs> puffs at me. Fair. You can do both. I'll drop another grand. Don't fuck with me. We'll see. I'll see in like 30 hours. Under. We'll see. At a certain point, it has to become a bluff. But maybe I'm just bad at gambling. <laughs> like, I don't know, it could be both. <laughs> maybe it's just me. Under's an engineer. Listen, Under is fulfilling his end of the bargain. I've told you guys this, and I'll tell you it again. The whole point of Wrath of Zalus, it's all a Ponzi scheme. I give you thousands of hours of content. For free. Uh, and then eventually all of you, because you're emboldened and improved and uh, uh, and inspired and uplifted by my content, eventually you'll all become rich and successful. And then and then it's time and then you got to kick back. But I'll wait. I'll wait until you're rich and successful and in a better place financially. But when you are. <laughs> but until then, you know, just being in the chat is enough. What would cause more despair? Dropping a grand at one hour left or breaking the clock timer at going above six digits? Oh, fuck, dude. So, <laughs> so, I think the clock going above six digits would cause more despair, but I think running the clock back up after it's below an hour would be a better clip. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> that's That's the difference. Um, I think I'd pretty much just go with the same team. I guess I could try Gengar for... I mean, no one's weak to dark, so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, Mantine for water coverage, I guess? With waterfall? I don't really know who to bring here. Under works terrible hours, like keeping a whole building running. Yeah, Under uh, does have a weird weekend, too. I know that. It's the boy. I mean, the random drop I did five hours was pretty funny. It was, but also under. Think about if you did it when it was below an hour. Can we integer overflow the clock? I don't know what that means. You. I hope you all realize the clock is not very complicated. <laughs> it's just a screen grab of a YouTube video of a 96 hour countdown.
I'm sorry, my son. I have to do this to you. Oh, 96, you say? <laughs> Don't. Yeah. It was 48. And then you guys passed 48 on the first day. I only got one day off every week for most of January, so making bank. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I've got a... I've got a lot... This is... I'm really... If we can talk real for a second, chat, I'm a little worried about what the next two weeks are going to look like, because my workload is going way up, and uh, I'm curious how I'm going to balance an increased workload and being on call with streaming. <laughs> I think there's a good... Uh, there's a good chance that... I think I can already see it happening, is that I start a stream, we get like 20 minutes into it, and then I get called back into work and I have to stop the stream. So I, I think that's probably going to happen at some point in the next two weeks, if not multiple times. So hang in there with me. I, I want to stream as much as I can. We all know this has already gone way past what I thought was going to happen. But uh, I'm going to try. Next streaming is job, wowzers. I wish I could. <laughs> My job is heavily NDA'd. So I definitely can't do that. Uh, if you're called on just use break days, it doesn't really work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> I very much can't stream my work, chat. That is very much not allowed. But uh, I should be cleared up again. Oh, so the other problem is that like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is coming out, and I am so goddamn excited for that game. So, I, I, well, I said we won't tell if you don't. Well, the problem is a lot of my uh, my coworkers follow me. I did. <laughs> a lot of my coworkers discovered and or just like asked about my channel and found it. Some of them are subscribers. Some of them are watching. Some of them are YouTube members. So like, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't get away with that. There's no way. There are too many eyes on me. But, uh... Also, I'm still sick, but feeling better. So I'm, uh, hopefully... Or, thankfully, hopefully back to 100% next week. That'd be great, Under. I'm sorry that you've uh, been sick for a while. I realize you're almost at a 5,000 subscribers now. Yeah, I think I got, like, a 1,000 subscribers last year. Um... Which is pretty cool. I should have ice punched. Um... Like, you know, I've been streaming for, like, 11 years. Or, almost 12 years now. And a thousand of my almost 5,000 subscribers all happened in the last year because uh, it was a bunch of different things. It was uh, Digimon Forbidden Memories was a big one. Uh, Digimon uh, Lost Evolution at the beginning in January was a big one. Uh, the Pokemon Emerald Horizon was, an, uh, was another one that drove, con uh, drove subscriptions. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of Rose Redux was a big one, a huge one. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Received Destruction but modded to be a good game was another one. I just had a, like a lot of really good games uh, that just drove a lot of views and a lot of uh, subscriptions last year. Imagine if the franchise got actual games. Well, you'd think that, but Digimon is weird. Sometimes Digimon videos, like new Digimon videos, do really well, but like sometimes they don't. Like the Hacker's Memory streams didn't really do that well, but I was streaming on Twitch at the time and then uploading the videos later, so maybe that had something to do with it. Um... I think Next Order did really, really well. That the best my channel has ever done was the year that Next Order came out, and that still hasn't been tops. Um, and then uh, I thought Digimon Survive would do better, but it kind of didn't do that well. I think um, I think it was because some people like just wanted to see, it, like wanted to play it themselves, and just like never went back and watched my playthrough. But Survive didn't do as well as I was hoping. But you know, there's there's still some good stuff. Fun fact, uh, analytics-wise, by the way, uh, 2023 was my third best year of streaming. 2016 was the best one. 2017 was the second best year. I don't know why 2017 was so good, but it was. But uh, I will say 2017 and 2023 were like basically like tied. It was just like slightly better. Might finally watch Survive. I don't think I'm going to play it at this point. Guilty of wanting to play Survive Unspoiled? That's fine, guys. Just got to watch it later after you, uh, after you play it. Honestly, you should do the multi-stream and have both Twitch and YouTube, see if it pulls in any Twitch randos. I've thought about that, but, like, trying to be a low stream, like, a low view count streamer on Twitch is rough. Like, I would say it's even harder to stream on Twitch. Like, at least on YouTube, I have, like, an established, like, following. Forget how long I've been subbed to you. I can actually see when how long people are subbed uh, to me 
when they leave comments on YouTube. I can't see it in, in the Twitch chat, though. Um, I know that because there was a lot of Duelist the Roses uh, people who, who sub for Duelist the Roses. And they'll leave comments, and they'll be like, oh, you should actually do this. And they'll, like, they'll leave, like, I think what they think is helpful, but some of it is a little backseaty. Uh, and then I'll, I'll hover over, like, how long they've been subbed, and it'll be, like, two weeks. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, dude. Um, all right. We made it to Claire. I didn't think we'd make it this far. How long do I have? Uh, I won't be able to check until I see a comment from you. I think you're, like, eight years, though, under. Um, how do I, what do I do here? I think I can't bring, bring Dodrio because Lapras, Ampharos, Dragonair, and Kingdra, and Rhydon all kind of wall it. Because they have ice moves, rock moves, or, uh, or electric moves. So I can't bring Dodrio. Clefable and Miltank both have Ice Punch, which will work on Dragonair, Rhydon, and neutral to Kingdra. But at, at that point, I just use their normal moves. I really still have nothing to beat that Lapras, which is unfortunate. I could try Gengar. Just see if I can put to sleep and then nightmare it, but I don't know if that's going to work. What are Gengar's moves again? Oh, actually, Nightshade could chunk Lapras down, but I think I would need to use it like five times. Lapras has like over 200 HP, so I don't think that's really going to work. Uh, Miltank... I could do Attract with Miltank, Attract Stomp, because I, I should be faster than a lot of these Pokemon. And Attract does actually prompt a good amount. So that's not the worst, but it only works on Dragonair, Arcanine, and Rhydon. And Rhydon hard walls Miltank, so that's not really useful. I think I have to bring Mantine, just in case, even though Mantine is also weak to a lot of these Pokemon. I think I have to bring Mantine because of... Uh, Ride on, because I have I can't beat Ride on without a without a water move. I go Miltank, Mantine, Lapras, Gengar, not Lapras, Ride on this, yeah. Um, who do I start with though? Mantine can't really do. I can do Supersonic, but that's just worse. Confuse Ray. Uh, I think Miltank might be a good one to start with I think do I do I bring Gengar who does Gengar even work against also Gengar is pretty weak to Earthquake which I think uh, Arcanine and Rhydon both have and Ampharos might have it too to be honest I think I'm, I'm anticipating them bringing Rhydon because he walls a lot of my team like he walls Clefable and Miltank and and Mantine, and Gengar, so I think they're going to start, and Tojrio, so I think they'll start with Rhydon. It's either Rhydon or Lapras. They'll probably do Ampharos due to Tojrio and Mantine. Yeah, I can see it. I'm not doing Marowak. Marowak can't do anything. It has Thunder Punch, which works on Lapras and just Lapras. <laughs> But it's not really worth it. And he doesn't have a very good special attack, so it's not worth it. Um, I think... I'm going to open with Miltank. I'll bring Mantine. I'm stuck between Clefable and Gengar. I guess Nightshade could chunk off some of these like bulky Pokemon, but I don't think Gengar is going to live. Because it's not very strong. I could try the Hypnosis Nightmare Strat, though, which could work. But then Clefable also has Headbutt, Ice Punch, Encore if I wanted to do that. No, I think I go Gengar. I think Gengar has more damage potential. All right, let's try it. Metronome YOLO. I'll get Whirlwind twice again, like I did last time. Right on. Oh, it's Kingdra. Interesting. So, is Kingdra faster than me? That's the big thing. If Kingdra is faster than me, then I should go for Ice Punch. I don't know what'll do more damage. I don't remember what Miltank's uh, stats are. 
I don't think you can check from this uh, from this one. No, you can't see their stats. Miltank is fast, but so is Kingdra. Stomp does more. Yeah, I guess I'll go Stomp then. If I'm fast, I can get the uh, the flinches. Oh, okay, here we go. The other thing we gotta remember is that uh, I'm gonna get paralyzed by Dragon Breath because it just always fucking paralyzes. Oh, Hydro Pump. Why did it go for that? Oh, that's why. Because it did more than half my health. Oh, okay. The berry? <laughs> that The berry might be the reason we survive another Hydro Pump. Okay. Fuck. Really need those flinches. Let's go! The berry mattered! Let's go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright. Alright, Miltank. You, you're gonna die if you don't get a flinch. I need you to know that. Oh, fuck. They went Dragon Breath. Yeah, that makes sense. I only had two left. Three chances for flinches, not a single one. Yikes. I mean, that's not the end of it. We did a good amount of damage to Kingdra there. Ugh. I think Thief might kill from here. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Yeah, Nightshade. What the fuck am I talking about? Of course I use Nightshade. Nightshade is a guaranteed uh, kill. This is 50. What the fuck was I thinking? Alright. We're both down one. We've both got two. So far, uh, so far this is pretty even. Okay. Dragonair's not too bad. Chat, what do I go for here? Three Nightshades kill. I don't think Ragnar can really do anything to me. Do I go for three nightshades or do I try a thief? Do I try a hypnosis? What are we what are we thinking? Hypnosis is 60 accuracy, chat. I really I'm not comfortable doing uh a hypnosis. I think it's a I think hypnosis is a waste when it has it only takes 3 hits. The problem with trying thief is that if thief works also, I can't uh, I can't steal their item because I already have a berry. I forget which berry I give to Gengar. I should have given it nothing because it is Thief. <sighs> thief does 40, 40 damage. I have 150 special attack. It should do a lot. I don't know what Dragonair's special defense is like. I gave it the Sleep Berry. Okay. Dragon Dragonair's Outrage, probably two shots Gengar. I could probably see that. You know what? Chat, let's go for the hypnosis. If if, if if hypnosis fails, I'm just gonna go for damage. I'm not gonna keep trying it. Oh, we got it. Okay. Well, now I go for nightmare. They could have switched. But Nightmare does do a decent amount. That did 37 just then. Um, I think at this point I just Nightshade for the game. Oh, I guess we can try Thief out. Let's see how much damage Thief does. This will give me a good barometer. Not, no, not even close. And it woke up. Oh, gross. I think I live another one. I can't believe uh, we nightmared for one turn. <laughs> that was such a fucking waste. Unless it crits here. Yeah, unless it crits, I live. So we get another nightshade off. Nightmare only hurts while it's asleep. That's useless. Yeah, I agreed. I did think it would sleep for longer, though. I didn't think it would two turn wake. But I forgot what game I was playing. I sleep for five turns. They sleep for two turns. That's all right, though. We still get a free hit on the next Pokemon, because I think we're faster than whatever he throws out. Ooh, he did bring Rhydon. That's actually pretty good with Mantine. That's not bad. 
Oh, chat, what do we go for here? I could do Nightshade and get 50 guaranteed damage, or I could try and Hypnosis. I think Waterfall does kill from here. I think I go for Nightshade. I knew Waterfall was four times. I just didn't know if Mantine's strength was enough. Yeah, there's the Earthquake. Gengar did pretty well. Even though I completely fucked it up. I did not need to Nightmare. I should have just Nightshaded. But Gengar would have been dead here no matter what. Gengar could have had full health and that Earthquake would have killed. So, I don't feel as bad about that. All right, Montine. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! We beat Claire. Let's go. We're going to the Leaf Four, baby. Let's go. Mantine the goat. Truly, though. I mean, I would say Gengar did most of the work there, actually. Not to be rude. I do think Meng Gengar did a lot of the work. Uh, you won uh, through the ranks to reach me. I'm impressed. Me, the Elite Four, will face you from here. We're going to the Elite Four, baby! Alright. So we keep the same team. Uh, until they die. So here's where the real challenge comes in. Let me break down these, these teams for you. Will has a disgusting Zatu. It is really fucking good. It's really fast. It hits hard. And it has a decent amount of defense. So Z Will Zatu is, is his ace. And he will bring it every single time. Uh, then there's his other Pokemon. Which also kind of suck. Like Girafrig is really difficult. Uh, Executor is really difficult. I forget what his other Pokemon are. But he's got some really good ones. Koga is a fucking bastard. Koga runs a, a toxic double team team. Like, his whole shtick is that he'll just keep raising his evasion and toxic you. So you just sit there while you can't hit the Pokemon. It's gross. Uh, Bruno has a pretty standard team. I don't remember. I don't think he has really has a gimmick, but he's got some really heavy hitters. He has um, he has his on or I think it's either an Onix or a Steelix that's really good. Uh, he has his Machamp, which is really good. I think he always brings the Machamp. That's his ace. Uh, Koga's ace is Venomoth. And then uh, he also has a Blastoise randomly, and that Blastoise will fuck you up. It is a really big tank, and it does a lot of damage. Uh, and then Karen is another motherfucker, just like Koga. Karen will do Attract, Confuse, uh, and Paralyze. <laughs> just to really hit home, just that you never get to move. Uh, her ace is Umbreon. And then, if I manage to beat all four of them somehow, there's Lance. And Lance has... Titar, Steelix, Charizard, Dragonite, uh, Gyarados, and I forget what his, uh, his sixth Pokemon is. But he has a just crazy stack team. Uh, and the problem is, you need a team of six that can beat all five of these trainers somehow. <laughs> so you need, you need literally coverage for every single type on a random team of six. So, oh, it is Aerodactyl, you're right. Lance's last Pokemon is Aerodactyl. Uh, so, we're probably going to be here for a couple of years, I think. I don't think I'm beating this anytime soon. I don't think I'm beating it with this team. I'll be lucky to get past Will. So, strap in. We have truly entered the, the, the zone of no progress. <laughs> like, we're going to challenge the Elite Four a lot. I'm not going to win a lot. Uh, but I'm going to upload every video, YouTube. So, you know, you're never truly going to know when I beat the Elite Four. But let's get started, chat, and if that didn't scare you off, like, fuck. This is, uh, this is pretty bad. Chat, I'm, having explained that, let me run a new poll here. Uh, is this the run? <laughs> yes or no? Chat, feel free to vote. Okay, Zatu, Kadabra, Girafferig, Clefable, Executor, and Jinx. So Zatu is weak to electric. Uh, oh, honestly, bringing Gengar for Thief might not be the worst. 
But then I, I can't actually steal the item. But I can, uh... But I can do damage with it. Thief work will work on Zatu, Kadabra, Girafferig, Jinx, and Exeggutor. Um... Normal moves will work on all of these as well. Uh, I think I could bring Dodrio in again. Because Dodrio should be able to hit all of these guys pretty hard. And Dodrio's pretty fast. Uh, I don't think anything on this wall's Gengar. Which is a good sign. Gengar, Dodrio, Miltank in my opinion. I definitely want to bring Dodrio. Because we didn't use Dodrio at all. But it's definitely a good Pokemon. I don't think Mantine is the play here though. Because... Uh, like, it has Wing Attack, but it's going to do no damage. And Wing Attack would only really work on Exeggutor. So I think I go... I think I go Gengar, Miltank, Dodrio. Clefable is also really good, but I think Miltank is just better than Clefable. Like, it has higher... Is it have a higher attack? Yeah, it's got higher attack. Its special attack is really bad. Oh, actually, yeah. That's, that's kind of enough reason not to bring Miltank here, I think. I think, uh... The problem with Miltank in this area is that Miltank's special... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Miltank's special defense is pretty good. I was looking at special attack. Um, like, Clefables is better, but Miltank is faster, which I think makes it a better pick. Because they are effectively the same Pokemon, because they both have normal moves and then Ice Punch. I could try bringing Marowak for Thunder Punch, but Marowak's special attack is not really great. So I don't think it works. Also, it's weak to Executor. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gengar. No, because they're gonna lead Clefable. I can already tell. I'm gonna bring Miltank, Dodrio, Gengar. Happy birthday, boy! Thanks, Louisa. <laughs> it's, it's it's still my birthday. Clefable has better Ice Punch, but Miltank's best over better all, overall. The only shame is Gengar Poison getting nuked from Orbit from Psychic. I did forget about that. I mean, it can thief, and it's it should be really it should be faster than all these Pokemon. So I'm effectively going to get one move off against them. But I don't think he actually isn't Gengar's special defense pretty good. Yeah, uh, its special defense is okay, so it'll probably survive one. Let's go for Miltank, Dodrio, and Gengar. Still, if it doesn't work, we tried. I like Miltank's little spin. If this is Clefable, then I predicted Will pretty well. It's not. It's Zatu. Uh, I should say Zatu is also kind of a motherfucker because it's pretty fast and it also has a King's Rock. So Zatu likes to uh, likes to flinch randomly when you least expect it. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna attract because I think uh, I think that could be pretty good here. Look at the other Zatu. Yeah. Too pretty to attack. Alright, now we go for Stomp Stomp Strats. Oh, they switched out. That's smart. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> See, the Elite Four doesn't mess around. It knows to avoid attract. Uh, there's Clefable. So I did predict it just late. This is gonna be a long battle. These are two big tanks uh that deal physical damage. And I can't attract it because Nintendo doesn't believe in same-sex relations, so... I just get a stomp and hope it flinches. Swap into Gengar on the normal move? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, no, definitely don't swap into Gengar. Definitely don't swap into Gengar. Definitely don't swap into Gengar. <laughs> it is not the move. It is not the fucking move. <laughs> that could have been so bad. Or do not swap, do not swap. I still haven't gotten a fucking flinch, dude. Why Why is this game hate flinching? I feel like I should have gotten so many by now. I've gotten one. Okay. Hey! Yeah, we finally got one. Okay. I can't wait for to send Zatu back out. And, and I can have it look at my udders again. I did actually check to see if Stomp could flinch in this game. It can, yeah. Is that Clefable using Psychic? It sure is. This is a Psychic gym, or a Psychic Elite Four member. Who is it going to send out now? 
It's Zatu. Alright, I have to attract again. I think this time Zatu's probably going to kill me from here, but I gotta try for the attract anyway. Attract is, like, secretly pretty good in this game. Can't do it. Can't resist the others. Okay. I'm going to end the poll again. By the way, the poll is the same as it was last time. Oh, it switched out again. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the free hits. That's fine. Why didn't it switch into Giraffe Rick the first time? That feels odd. I feel like uh, it should have done that the first place because it knows Giraffe Rick can't be attracted. Shame it's a female giraffe, yeah. I don't know if I'm faster still. Okay. Ironically, this is going to be the exact same strategy Giraffic tries to use, is uh, Stomp Flinches. Ooh. Okay. Miltank is fucking killing here. This is awesome. Miltank is, uh... Miltank is wrecking this team. Give me a flinch, give me a flinch, give me a flinch! Damn. I think we still live this. Holy shit, Miltank. That's twice the berry has mattered! Okay. This Miltank is, uh... Is awesome. <laughs> this Miltank fucking rocks. Alright, so do I try to attract Zatu again? All Zatu needs is for one move to break through. I think I should just go for raw damage and just go for the stomp. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I go for damage here. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a flinch. I'd rather take that gamble than take the gamble and attract. Ooh, we got a crit? I'll take a crit. That's fine. Okay. I think Gengar kills from here. And if Gengar doesn't kill, we still have another Pokemon. Good job, Miltank. That fucking rocked. Yeah, I think we go Gengar here. Gengar. Gengar, no. Gengar, no, dude. Down it goes. That's fine. That's okay. I don't know if Dodrio outspeeds Zatu. I think it does. Dodrio is still pretty quick. That This does just show why speed is so important in Pokemon, though. Especially Pokemon Stadium. It make or breaks these uh, these teams. Oh, you have Pursuit! I mean, it's a special move, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Oh, okay, you still have speed. Stay strong for Mother Clarence! Okay. Alright, just four more elite members to go. It's one of the fastest Gen 1 Pokemon, hell yeah. Well, that's further than I thought we'd make it. So, it's a good sign. <laughs> Oh man, I do not know what to do against Koga though. I'm pretty worried actually. Did you agree with the real Gen 1 bird? None of this Pidgey Fear nonsense? True. Shame Koga doesn't use Minimize. Stomp would have gone hard on that. Or Koga does use Minimize. He uses Minimize and he uses uh, uh, Double Team. So, so we have to bring Gengar because he's going to try to poison and Gengar is immune to poison, but, and I don't really know what else he can do to Gengar because they have a lot of poison moves. Uh, Electrode is kind of a, is kind of a concern because it hits pretty hard and it's pretty fast. Golbat's kind of a concern, because I think you can also confuse Ray. Gligar is a little bit of a concern. I don't really know what I do to beat these. I mean, on, on one hand, none of them resist normal moves, so 
Dodrio, Clefable, and Miltank still work here. But I think I gotta go for that, uh... I think I have to go for bringing Gengar so that I can, uh, avoid it. Ven Ven uh, the Venomoth probably have Psybeam, probably? Probably. I don't think... I, I can't rely on Marowak. Bone Rush... Like, Bone Rush is already 80 accuracy, and all these Pokemon are gonna double team. So, like, there's no fucking shot Marowak hits a move. Like... And his speed is bad. Yeah, I can't bring Marowak here. Gengar for the... Thief strats, I guess. Mantine isn't really worth it here. Clefable doesn't have a guaranteed hit move. Uh, oh, but you know what? Oh, this could actually work. So Clefable has Encore. So they're going to start with Toxic. So I can Encore them and have them keep spamming Toxic so they can't lower their evasion. That could actually work out. If I just, like, I'd, I'd slowly die to Toxic. But Encore would pretty much work here. Dodrio can hit pretty hard with Tri Attack, and we might be able to get one of the. Uh, if we get a, uh, we get burned, then they slowly trickle their damage down. If they get freeze, then they can't do anything. And if we get paralyzed, then their speed gets lowered. So, Dodrio is looking pretty good here too. I still think that the attract Stomp Strats might be pretty good with Miltank, even if they increase their evasion. But Miltank only works on. Ariados and Gligar, unfortunately. So I don't know that that's really going to work. I will say Ice Punch... Uh, Ice Punch should hit Gligar and Golbat pretty hard. So that, that's worth something, I guess. Even if uh, my special is not very good. I guess it would, at that point I'd bring Clefable. Yeah, I think Clefable is definitely here. I think Dodrio is here for damage. And I think Gengar for the poison resistance, I think. Toxic Encore and switch to Gengar. That could work. Toxic Encore, switch to Gengar, use Nightshade. Yeah, I, I think I like, uh, I assume Encore forces a switch like Attract. It could, but I think that's probably the strat here. I'll lead with Clefable, I'll bring Gengar, and I'm going to bring Dodrio for the rod damage. All right, let's give it a shot. Watch me, uh, watch me use Encore and they just use double team the first turn. Because this, because this game is mean. That's true. Forcing a switch would remove evasion, so it's not the worst. I already brought muck. Uh, all right, encore. An encore call. Slow move. Oh, I didn't. I oh, and it fucking double teamed anyway, dude. All right, we're already rough to a rough a rough start here. He made the correct call. Uh, uh oh. Um. I mean, I guess I could encore at this point and force him to keep raising his evasion, but that seems like a bad idea. Ugh. I don't really know what to do from here. I wish I had some guaranteed hit moves. Like, Swift on Clefable would be great. Do I just go for Headbutt before he uh, does too much evasion? Yeah, I'm going to do Headbutt until he uses Toxic, and then I'll use Encore. I mean, I think Encore can miss anyway. So, like, because he's double teaming up, I might just miss. Yep, already started with this shit. You did one fucking double team, and a 100 accurate move missed immediately. But you also missed, bitch! Okay? <laughs> you also missed. All right, Encore. Okay. This is what we're doing here, huh? Okay. I mean, I can encore one more time and see if it hits. Fucking dude. One double team! Just one! And made 300 accurate moves miss. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this game. I can't win. I'm never lucky. All right, I have to switch to to curb the toxic. I'll just switch to Gengar. <laughs> this sucks. 
Get ready. We're about to get Pokemon Stadium. We're about to get uh, Pokemon Stadiumed. Wait, Encore has a chance to miss? Wait till I tell you guys about Lock On. <laughs> I, uh, I learned from watching Pokemon Stadium 2 runs that Lock On apparently can miss. Which doesn't feel like it should be able to happen. Oh, ooh, lad. Okay. Well, honestly, as inaccurate as it is, Hypnos into Nightmare would hard, just to, would absolutely fuck them up, but I think I just gotta go Nightshade. <sighs> yeah. What will it do? Yeah. That this is their fourth double team. Can Nightshade miss? Sure can. I'll, I'll do one hypnosis for the fans. Let me use the 60 accurate move on a Pokemon that's raised their evasion by 200%. Let's see what happens. Oh, it missed? That's crazy. Five double teams. Five fucking double teams, dude. <laughs> dude this sucks. Ugh. So mean. <laughs> this team's <laughs> this team is so fucking cruel. Muck's last move would be fucking fire blast, by the way. What an asshole. Not a single fucking move. Not a single move. That first miss hit the is actually the one that hit the that did the most like mental damage to me. The fact that I missed two encores and a night or two encores and a headbutt on one double team is insane. Oh, we got we got one. Only three more. Also, by the way, Muck, this seventy accurate fire blast, no problem. He'll hit all three. Because evasion only matters, and evasion and accuracy only matter on the opponent's side. They don't matter on my side. So we've got that going for us. It's so over. It's so fucking over, dude. <laughs> it's so over. I'll use Clefable. Keep Dodrio for whatever reason. Maybe we can pull a miracle out with Dodrio if we manage to kill Muck. Oh, man. Okay. Headbutt it is. Gonna get that, uh, gonna get that flinch this time. Nope. I guess it's got Sludge Bomb too. So it knows Sludge Bomb. Uh, it knows Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast, uh, Double Team, and Toxic. I guess I should be thankful he doesn't also know Protect just to really drive it home. It's not looking good. This is a uh, this is Koga. If you don't have a uh, if you don't have a team of Poison types and someone who knows Swift. On your team, then you're uh, you're out of luck. That's just how it is. It's it's all luck. It's all all luck on whether you hit a move or not. All right, try attack. We're gonna get that freeze. Nope. Hey, maybe you miss another toxic. And I can't swap out. I guess I should have put Dodrio in before I put in a uh, Clefable so I could at least like shake the Toxic off and just make it normal poison, but it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, I did get a hit. Wow, that did a lot too. Didn't get the status effect. And the fact that he just has Sludge Bomb and he does so much damage. Ugh. This is a brutal way to lose. This is a brutal fucking way to lose. We did so well against Will, too. Oh, now you hit both times. Great. Burn? No. Ugh. Ugh. Yikes. Yikers, gamers. He brought Ariados and Venomoth. Oof. All right. Let's get back to it. 
what a brutal, brutal, brutal team. We did beat Will, so it's not completely demoralizing, but it's pretty high up there. You need a strong psychic move for Koga. Not even that. You need, like, Swift. Uh, Swift uh, is one. I forget. I don't know if Aerial Ace is in this game yet. Uh, you need moves that guarantee to hit. Poison types are good because then you can't poison stall you, but, like, even then. It's just luck. I think Haze might be okay, but I think only, like, one Pokemon is Haze, so. All right, starting off with, with Venusaur. How about we make the team? Then what would be the point? We made it this far with random. Why would we... Why would I give it up now? Listen, I told you guys. I'm not going to beat this anytime soon, but I'm going to try. Also, he... Venusaur new tackle and growl. I hate this game. All right, this is the run. <laughs> this is the run. Now that we've got a... Now that we've got our powerhouse. The game paid me back pretty hard for that last team. Shuckle. Shuckle could be fun. If winning if is it winning now if we don't keep the randomizer? Exactly. That takes the fun out of it. That would just mean I'm just playing Pokemon Stadium. I don't want to do that. Sludge Bomb, Sandstorm, Rollout, Bide. Rollout on uh on Shuckle can be fun if it gets set up. Unfortunately, it does not work against Will. Because Will's uh Will Zatu knows Nightshade. Which pretty hard fuck Shuckle, because uh Shuckle's whole thing is it being super, super defensive. So, that's not going to work out. Shuckle is good, just not against these teams. Golem, can't wait to see what moves you know. I'm thinking Rock Throw and Magnitude. I didn't... I didn't want to be right. I didn't want to be right! Okay. Magnitude and Rock Throw. Boy. What, what a, what a move set. Oh, Suicune. All right. I'm thinking Gust, Water Gun, and then, like, Growl. <laughs> Gust, Bubble Beam, Roar, and Curse. Cool. Curse, which raises your attack and defense. Gust is the only uh, offensive move I have, so that's pretty funny. That's kind of pointless. All right. And Ampharos. Ampharos is very slow. I already know Ampharos knows Zap Cannon instead of Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch, or uh, or even Thunder, or even like uh, uh, what's the first one? Thunder Shock. Nope, it knows Zap Cannon. So if you thought we, oh Zap Cannon and Dynamic Punch, it does have Swift. It's got Swift. That's something. Uh, this is not going to go well. Okay, Venusaur. What do we want you to have? Um. You've got Giga Drain and Poison Powder. So let's say we don't want you to go to sleep, I guess. You're not getting an item, Caterpie. I'm sorry. Shuckle, we're going to give you the normal berry. Golem, don't get fucking burned, I guess, because that hard walls you. Don't get... Or, sorry. Don't get burned. Don't get paralyzed. Don't get confused. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Magnus fun. Gambling for a big 10. Not hitting anything. Yeah, it's great. All right, chat. We're going to do it again. Is this the run? What do you guys think about this team? Let's get a collective, uh, let's get a collective kind of sample of how you guys think this team's going to go. Seen a lot of no's. <laughs> Constant Roar Koga to stop the evasion. The problem with that is that Roar does take... I have to hit Roar. Uh, and Koga... Um, uh, and Koga will just toxic me. So then even if I roar them away, I'm still taking damage. So here's the problem with this team. I can't bring Venusaur because he's hard, weak to Psychic. Shuckle gets walled by Zatu, which he, he's guaranteed to bring. Ampharos works on Zatu and Girafrig and Jinx. It's neutral. It works on Clefable uh, with Dynamic Punch, but that's about it. Golem doesn't is weak to Jinx and Executor. Uh, and I think Clefable might have some coverage for it too. 
It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Uh, I think I fucking bubble beam with Suicune and hope for the goddamn best. I don't. I don't even know who to bring here. Um, Golem's not doing much here. I guess Rock Throw works on Zatu. That's something. His attack is pretty good. Uh, magnitude doesn't work on anyone. He is pretty weak. He's very weak to Executor. He's very weak to Jinx. Um, oh, I guess Rock Throw works on Jinx too. But he's never going to hit it because Jinx is way faster. Uh, and then there's Shuckle as well. But Shuckle is walled by Zatu because of Rollout. Uh, and then Suicune is weak to Executor. And I think Clefable has Thunder. So... Damn. Do I bring Ampharos? Do I really fucking bring Ampharos for this? Just, just launch some Zap Cannons and hope for the best? It seems like such a bad idea. Ugh. Magnitude works on Jinx, right? Ground uh, beats Ice? No, it's the other way. Ice beats Ground. Because, like, Permafrost or whatever. Dizzy Punch? No one has Dizzy Punch. Alright, I'm going to leave with Shuckle. I'm going to bring Suicune. And it's down to Golem or Ampharos. I'm going to go Golem. Because he's a higher chance of hitting his moves. Boy, I do not think this is the run. How does this have the same yes or no that... <laughs> how does this have the same yes or no that the last team had? You guys have far more confidence in this team than you should. If he leaves Zatu, it's over. I need him to bring a different Pokemon than Zatu so I can get rollout started. Okay. Maybe. Let's go for... Uh, let's just start it off. We're going to go for... Uh, ooh, do I Sandstorm before I roll out? Yeah, let's Sandstorm first. Really get that residual damage. Oh, here it is. Yep, it's going to be Zatu. Oh, that's bad. Yep. Yep. Because <laughs> it's got Nightshade. Okay. We're going to switch out. They're going to use Nightshade. I think I'm going to switch in Golem because I need four Nightshades to beat Golem. And I can start Rock Throwing. Oh, Shuckle, I really wanted to get you set up, but Zatu walls you. Rollout strats could be fun. I'm sure it's no because you're actually hoping for a yes by saying no, maybe. Hey, the game is broken. How come their Nightshade hits when they use it? At least Sand gives you a sp sp uh, Spadef boost, does it? In Gen 2? Alright. Rock throw. They're still going to use... Oh, they use Giga Drain. Oh, well, I'm dead then. I didn't know Zatu had Giga Drain. How's that Spadef boost, Moz? How's that Spadef boost? This Zatu's a fucking menace. It knows... If I remember correctly, it knows Psychic, Giga Drain, Fly, and Nightshade. Its coverage is ridiculous. And it's bulky. It's got a good attack. It's got good speed. Why does the bird have Giga Drain? You know why. Because Pokemon Stadium. That did so much damage to me. That did 21 damage. What the fuck? Also, Zatu gained back the damage that Sandstorm dealt. That's cool. Ooh, laddie. Okay. Uh, fucking Bulb Beam. Can switch to Executor. Up. Oh, nope. Here we go. Oof! Ow, my bones. What does Bubble Beam do? Does it drop speed? I think Bubble Beam has a chance to drop something. I forget what it is though. It's either speed or attack. Is it attack? Well, that's useless then. <laughs> gonna get a crit here. Ready? Get ready for the crit. Okay. I think I died a sandstorm here. Unless sandstorm's done. Drop the speed. Drop the speed. Shit. Well, I lose here. And that's just how it goes. It went for the Giga Drain too. Why didn't he use Giga Drain from the start? There it is. 
This is bad. This is Pokemon Stadium. This is what we're going to be doing a lot. So, it only has to hit two Nightshades, and then it can probably kill with uh, with Giga Drain. So we only have a couple turns to get this going. Uh, but I'm going to try. Yikes. That's like the that's like the best way to be chuckle too. I fucking blitz, dude! So uh How are we thinking about Sludge Bomb? <laughs> uh so Zatio has a King's Rock. King's Rock gives any move a chance to flinch, but I think it's something stupid like a five percent chance to flinch. And uh, Zatu has the uncanny ability to hit it exactly when you don't need it. It'll always hit it when it's least helpful for you. New Nick Emo coming soon, TM. Did you get a good screenshot of me going like this? We're going to lose to Will a lot. Will, just because Will is the first member of the Elite Four does not make him any more difficult, by the way. Oh, boy. On to the next team. <laughs> the Elite Four is real. The Elite Four are menaces. First up, Houndoom. Hope you guys are ready for Bite and Ember. Houndoom could actually be pretty good against Will. Oh my god. I didn't mean it for real. It does have Swift, though. And it's got pretty decent attack, so Swift can do pretty good things against Koga. Alright. <laughs> Let's go, Rattata. I think Rattata is Super Fang, which is actually kind of worth it. Oh, we tried a Rattata before. This Rattata is, like, weirdly good. Uh, Super Fang and Headbutt. And pretty decent speed. I don't think it outspeeds Will, unfortunately. But Super Fang can do at least a little bit of good. Uh, Graveler. Alright, Earthquake and Rock Slide, since Golem has the other ones. Earthquake and Roll Up. Okay. <laughs> the problem is, as good as Graveler would be to use... That Giga Drain fucks us. We cannot beat that Giga Drain. Ledian, okay. We got a mascot. Giga Drain, Dig, Hyper Beam, doesn't matter. Your stats are trash. Actually, your special attack's not that bad. Giga Drain might be might be okay. But it's just like, who would I even use it on? And you have like no health. Like you have like no defense. No, I'm sorry, Ledian. You're not gonna do much here. Can we take a sec, sec to look at Ledian's stats? Look at that attack and look at that spadef. Yeah, can we just swap those? Up, oh, Suicune's back. Suicune, I feel like you're not the strongest of the uh, the dogs here. I feel like your move set is working against you. And not in a good way. And Jolteon. Jolteon, do you have Thunderbolt, Thunder, or Zap Cannon? How I feel about you is going to depend on that. Zap Cannon. Come on, man! Isn't Thunder bad enough? Do we have to fucking deal with Zap Cannon? Oh, no, dude. Uh, well, we got Pin Missile for this Psychic team. With a... With an attack of 14 and 85 accuracy. <laughs> dude. And 88 attack. Oh, what did they do to you? This sucks. Oh, I like how they took Pokemon that were already kind of not great in Pokemon Stadium 1, and they were like, what if we made them even worse? Oh, this game. You can't, you, phys you physically can't hit any of Koga's Mons, but it's cute. Oh, Sand Attack? Yeah. Um, let's see. We don't want you getting par paralyzed. Also, by the way, you may notice that none of these berries cure poison. 
It's the only status effect that they don't have a cure for. Don't worry, we have a normal 10 HP berry and we have the confusion berry, but not poison. So that's cool. Okay, I don't even know what to give you. Uh, don't get... Um, uh, relying on your attack, so don't get burned, I guess. Rattata, it doesn't matter, my friend, but you can have the sleep berry. Graveler, uh, fro uh freeze, froze. Ledian, I'm not using you. Uh, Suicune, you can get the, the paralysis berry, because you're kind of fast. Jolteon, just get the normal berry. Here we go. Why don't I have more item? How does stadium work? Badly. I don't know if you can bring your items in if you, like, imported the Pokemon in, like, the way it's supposed to be done, but you, uh, those are the only items you get to choose from. And they're not even called the correct names, which is, like, extra insult to injury. Okay. Like, a poison berry could actually really help against Koga, but no. They're gimping you on purpose. That's the whole point of Stadium. Is that they want you to, uh, they want you to import your own Pokemon. The problem is, I'm playing on the fucking Switch, which doesn't let you import Pokemon, so it's worthless. Um, okay, who are we leading with? I'm gonna lead with Rattata, so that we can Super Fang whoever comes out first. Uh, I'm gonna bring Jolteon to Zap Cannon that Zatu for sure, 100%. And I'm gonna bring Howdoom for Executor and for the immunity to Psychic. Let's go. This is not the run. I'm not feeling confident about this run. Shadow Ball is physical, so it's actually... We do pretty well here. Oh, I didn't know that. Super Fang into Shadow Ball. Also, I will say this about Rattata. It's pretty cute. It's got a good model. Ooh, Jinx. I heard you don't like fire moves. Uh, Super Fang, and then we're probably dead to a Psychic here, but I'll, I'll try it. I'll give it my best. That was so much more damage than it should have done. I'm like, Jesus. Shadow Rat. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to hit anything. Jinx is too fast. That's the other part of uh, of Will's team, is that his team is really fast. The only reason we did the first one so well is that we somehow outsped him. It's alright, Rattata. You did your best. You gave that a pretty solid run. Uh, alright, Hound Doom it is. So, they absolutely are going to switch out here. They're going to switch from... Uh, like, the, the obvious move here is to use Ember. But I think I'm going to use Bite instead because it's going to, um, they're going to switch out to a different Pokemon because Jinx is hard walled by Houndoom. So I want to at least do super effective damage to the next Pokemon. And if it, even if it doesn't, Bite still works on Jinx as well. Body Slam. Watch him get the para. Here it comes. <laughs> okay. I can't believe they kept, uh, they kept Jinx then. Nice. Okay. Houndoom is one of the only Pokemon that benefits from the uh, the the priest physical special split because Dark is special attack and Houndoom special attack is really fucking good. So, that being said, I don't think Houndoom's out speeding anyone here. I think I'm probably still slower than these Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, he's fly. Fuck. Great. Yeah, Houndoom. This sucks. Well, I guess if I know what it's going to go for, I can try Swifting next turn. Oh, that did so much damage. Houndoom does not hardwall here like he should. This Zatu is just a menace. I only need to hit one more. Oh, what is he going to use here? Swift doesn't say guaranteed hit, right? So, so Swift doesn't hit with Dig, so I assume it doesn't hit when I fly either. I mean, I don't survive another fly. So I'm tempted just to swap out. I'm tempted just to throw uh, Suicune in. Let them finish the job, but I don't think they can finish the job. 
What the fuck? Hondu and Zatu are the same speed? Are they? So then there's a chance I hit this first? Is that what I'm hearing? It, are they the actual exact speed? I need to know. Do they speed tie? Because I'll take that risk and try and bite here. Yeah, 95. Alright. Let's go for the speed tie. Nope. <laughs> of course not, dude. Uh... I don't think this game has EVs. But I, I could be wrong. Switching out to Jolteon here. Jolteon takes damage, but... Zatu is really the main reason I brought Jolteon in the first place, so... I'm not letting Hound Doom die like this. It's not fair. I think I resist this too, right? Doesn't Electric resist flying? Yeah. Alright. Am I actually going to go for Pin Missile right now? Am I going to go for fucking Pin Missile? I think I am. I think I'm going for Pin Missile. I just don't trust Zap Cannon. Pin Missile it is. That did no damage, dude. It's not worth it. Even with four hits, five hits, it's still not worth it. That sucks. Isn't Psychic weak to bug? Uh, apparently not in this game. Oh, you know what it is? It's because uh, Zatu's neutral. Because it's Psychic and it's flying. So that's why it didn't do that much. Zap Cannon it is. All right, Jolteon. I'm sorry for putting you in this position. It's unfair to you, but we, we got it. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Never mind, Jolteon's a fucking clutch master. Let's go. Who's the last Pokemon? Ooh, that's not who I wanted to come out. That's a bulky Pokemon. I mean, I guess I double kick here. Try and get some extra damage. Um, I don't think I hit another Zap Cannon. I think, it, I think this is... I think, I think Zap Cannon is too risky. I don't want to bother with Sand Attack either, because there's no fucking way it affects this this team. Although, I think all of Clefable's damaging moves are, like, really inaccurate moves, like Fire Blast and Thunder. So maybe it does work. But, like, it feels stupid. I feel like I'd rather just hit Double Kick, right? Because it's at least Stab. We'll see how much Double Kick does. Maybe I survive another hit before Houndoom comes out. What not? Ah, that attack just bounced off. Oh my god, dude. I mean... 45 damage. We did live a Fire Blast. YOLO, Zap Cannon, let's go. That's fine. We gotta take risks to win. We gotta take risks to win. Okay. Did not matter in the end. <laughs> and they got a crit. Okay. 67 damage left on Clefable. Houndoom. Buddy. <laughs> I need you to do some damage here. Alright, so... Bite is 60 accurate. And there's a chance to flinch. So we're using that over Ember for sure. Here we go. Houndoom, you should crit. Show your dominance. I need one more. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! We're going to we're going back to Koga. We're going back to Koga. Fuck. Damn it. We're going back to Koga. No. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to Koga. Jolteon did do really, really well. Jolteon absolutely clutched up. We would not have won that without Jolteon. Ugh. 
Okay. Well, this also sucks, though. I don't have any poison immunity. Graveler could be pretty good here, though. Graveler hits uh, Venomoth, Ariados, Electrode, and Muck with Earthquake. But does not hit Golbat or Gligar, which means they're absolutely bringing Golbat or Gligar. Gligar also resists Jolteon. But, but Jolteon can fuck up a Golbat if it hits a Zap Cannon. <clears throat> which it won't. And then... Uh, for Gligar, Suicune should be uh, should be pretty good because Bubble Beam should actually kill Gligar if we, if we can hit. It feels weird not to bring Houndoom onto this because Houndoom did really well last time, but he just can't really really do he can't really do anything here. I guess he can he can Ember Venomoth and Ariados, but Bite doesn't really work on any of these Pokemon. You think Housekeepers cleaning rooms would have a plunger on their cart? You would think so. All right, so I'm going to lead Graveler, which means they're going to lead Gligar. Um, I'm going to bring Jolteon as well for the for the other coverage, and then I'm going to bring Suicune. None of this is going to matter because I'm not going to hit a single goddamn move here. My RNG luck runs out here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, now I'm in a weird spot because he absolutely switches out here, right? Like, there's no way he stays in with Electrode because, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, He might... I think he might switch to Gligar, which means Earthquake... Gligar or Golbat resists Earthquake, so I don't want an Earthquake here. But... Rollout could be fun to set up. I don't know what to do here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do know the first move here. We set up Sandstorm for sure. We uh we Sandstorm because that de deals damage even if they evade. So we can still do that no matter what. I'm not self-destructing the first turn. Uh, Sandstorm is the move here. We need residual damage. Wow. He didn't switch Electrode out? That's ballsy. He must not have brought a flying type. We know, his, we know one of his Pokemon is Venomoth, so he must not have brought Gligar or Golbat. Now I, uh, <laughs> now I go for Earthquake and hope for the best. Earthquake is 100 accurate. His evasion is doubled, so I think Earthquake is now 50 accurate if, I, if my math is correct. Get wrecked, nerd! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. That's pretty cool. Can self-destruct miss in this game, though? Yes, it can. Every move in this game can miss. Uh, except for Swift. And even then, Swift misses when they dig or uh, when they fly. Okay. Venomoth is still poison, right? So Earthquake should still do neutral to it. Earthquake it is. Giga Drain. Why do you have Giga Drain? That's that's upsetting. That's rude. That's fucking rude. Yeah, I guess I should have done a rollout. That would have been a that would have been a good call, but it didn't matter. Okay. Uh, what do I do here? Bug Poison. Jolteon. Can't really do anything to bug or poison. So double kick, they resist double kick, they resist pin missile. It's just relying on zap cannon again. Suicune, I guess I could use gust, but like it's not going to do any fucking damage. I think I'd be better off just using water bubble, or bubble beam. I don't think they resist water. We're in a rough spot though. I was really hoping that, uh, I was really hoping Graveler stuck around for longer. Because Jolteon's. Physical attack isn't as good. Uh, I think we go Jolteon now, because this is our best chance to hit Zap Cannon. It should really have Ice Beam on Suicune. It's a legendary after all. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Uh, 
I'll get them on the phone for that. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Again, I forgot they had uh, Giga, Giga Drain. You're right. Venomoth would have just killed it with Giga Drain. All right, Zap Cannon. We're at least faster, so it's just a raw 50-50. No way, dude. <laughs> no way, dude. We really hit three Zap Cannons in a row? Okay. All right, Jolteon, I see you. I see you. So, I really don't think we hit another Zap Cannon, but I really have to try. There's nothing else I can do here. I guess the other option is just switching into switching into Suicune and just hoping for the best. Uh, like, I feel like it would be rude to try and Zap Cannon here, but I'm going to let him try anyway. Let's get the misses out of the way now. Okay, that's fair. That shouldn't have hit. That's fair. I'm going to keep Jolteon in until they toxic it, and then I can uh, swap Jolteon out, so it, it just takes normal uh, poison damage. Alright, Jolteon, I believe. He hit it? <laughs> he fucking what? I couldn't hit a 100 accurate move on one double team, and he hit a zap cannon with two double teams. He crit too? Oh my god, dude. Jolteon is cracked. All right, Jolteon. We really need this one, though. Like, we really need this one. That's fine. If you don't hit it, I understand. You've already done more than enough. But, like, it would be really cool if you hit this one. That's fair. That's fine. I get it. You're totally okay. No, no expectations. The fact that you even got this far is crazy. That being said, I am going to go for one last one. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, no! You're a fucking monster. You do have Detect on this Pokemon. Oh my god. That's gross. <laughs> this cold bat is so fucking rude. Okay. Well, now it's over. Oh, it's Now it's truly over. Go for bold beam. That's all I can do. Golbat's faster. Sick. Yeah, I was out of Zap Cannons, but also, uh, I need to switch for the Toxic anyway. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna swap into Jolteon again, just to, while I have the chance, so that Suicune doesn't, uh, doesn't take true Toxic damage, just takes normal Poison damage. We've got one Pokemon left. We just need to hit a couple of moves. It's not looking good. I can grant that. But oh, he, he detected. Nice. This thing sucks. This thing's a, the thing is mean. I have to go for damage, and it resists double kick four times. So I have to use pin missile, which it only really resists, which it only resists twice. Like there's there's no point to even sand attacking because a sand attack can miss, and b like that's not the problem here. The problem is that he's stalling me out. So I just need to go for damage. This is doing a total of three damage. Yep. No, it's actually not hitting. Uh, is, is what it actually turns out. But like, I literally have no other options. I have to do this. Like, I don't have. I don't have a better move. We use up all our zap cannons. Oh man. This is going to be a slow death. This is going to go down real slow. This is Koga. This is what happens when you don't have Swift. I should have just brought Houndoom instead of Suicune. I should have done it for Swift. I forgot Houndoom had Swift. Mazda's right. It did three damage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like... 
you could be saying you could say to me nick why don't you switch into speaking now well before it's like fully done uh raising its evasion but like i don't know i guess i mean at this point right i guess i have to do that because even if we have jolteon as a viable pokemon and like it's not doing any damage I think he's used Evade twice now. Wing attack, huh? I mean, I guess it does have a damaging move. May as well Sand Attack until Jolteon died if it was me. Uh, just like I, like I just said, Sand Attack can miss, so that'd be weird. And also, like, again, the problem with Gold Bat is not his damage. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's the problem is that he's stalling you out. So even if his accuracy is zero, he's still going to win because I can't hit him either. So I'm just going to die to poison regardless. So it just doesn't make sense. Going for Bubble Beam. Fucking detect. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know how many detects Golbet has used. I think he only has five. So... Actually, I don't know how many, how much PP Detect and Protect have in this. He might do more damage, or he might have more. Use three. Nope. This is the really cool part about Koga too, is that you get to lose slowly. Why is Goldback crying? Because he's using a really toxic uh, strategy. A really gross strategy. Yeah, we lose here. Unless I get two back-to-back -back crits. Or I could not hit. Oh, I could also not hit. And that's it. Oh, man. Imagine if we hit that Zap Cannon on Goldback, though. That sucks. This really sucks. I'm just trying to think. If I had brought Houndoom instead, would Houndoom have had done enough damage with Swift to kill Golbat? I think it might have. Oh, now I hit a fucking double kick, dude. Okay. I think it might have hit it too. Run it back? I mean, what do you mean by run it back? Why did Jolteon hit his fucking double kicks, but <laughs> Suicune couldn't hit the bubble beams? Jolteon is just that is just that crazy. How did the four times weak double kick do more damage than the two times weak pin missile? Pokemon Stadium. This run doesn't count? What do you mean? You're saying I should just run the same team again? That's cheating. I'm not going to do that. Again, I made it this far. I made it this far to the point where, like, any rule changing at this point would be so empty. Like, it would take all the fun out of it. Fun. <laughs> like, why bother at that point? Like, why not just pick all my Pokemon from the start and just be done with it? But it's like, that's not, that's not why we're here. We're here to do it randomly. That's the that's the whole thing. We don't get the satisfaction unless we beat this the normal way, like with randomization. Otherwise, it just feels hollow. All right, for alligator, you're uh, you're pretty rough. The only real change I would think is allow one time under gets to pick one mon for one run due to the sheer amount of donates. Even then, nope. Under does under has donated a lot. I'm very grateful, but like. That would like invalidate the entire playthrough. Like, it would, why would I bother playing at that point? The whole point is to be with random Pokemon. Oh, that's right, Water Gun and Dynamic Punch. What have they done to you? Speaking of Hollow, Silk Song would never come out. True, Silk Song is a myth. Earthquake, Rollout, Explosion. Yep, of course you do. All right. Can you get off my team? Okay. <laughs> I like Suicune. I think Suicune is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, 
and I think they have pretty good moveset. Th this Suicune's not good. This is the sweet. This is the exact same moveset Suicune has when you catch it in the wild. This sucks. Stop getting Suicune. Fortress, okay. I think Fortress has spikes, which could work pretty well against Koga, if I could actually get him to switch his Pokemon out. Bug, Steel, uh, and those Spikes, Strength, Sandstorm, and Rollout. Sandstorm and Spikes could be pretty good. The only problem is, very, very big weakness to Fire, and, uh, oh, it's immune, wait, it's immune to Poison, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Spikes, Sandstorm, and immune to, to Poison? The only problem is the Muck. Uh, the Muck is, uh, the Muck knows Fire Blast, which would eviscerate Fortress, because its special defense isn't that high, and it's four times weak to it. Uh, oh, Ditto. Okay, what the fuck am I going to do with Ditto? All right. <laughs> and Nido King. Okay, Nido King is also pretty good against uh, Koga because it's immune to poison as well. And I think it knows a ground move. It knows Mud Slap. Never mind. I lied. It doesn't know a ground move. Uh, the, the real thing is that, uh, unironically, Horn Drill uh, could work against... Koga's team because Horn Drill's accuracy never lowers. It's just 30% no matter what. So 30% is pretty uh 30% is better than whatever the fuck it gets when they get plus six. So I'll take it. That's not bad. The only problem is it only is five PP. Okay, team. The only problem is I gotta beat Will <laughs> to get this team anywhere. And that's gonna be an issue. Oh, okay, you know, dynamic punch, dig. None of these are really going to work on Will's team. I think I lose to Will here. Uh, I'll give you the burn berry. Geodude, it doesn't matter. You're, you're dead to one Earth or to, to one Giga Drain. I can't use Geodude in either of these two battles as much as I want to. Uh, let's take the Sleep Berry, man. I don't know. Suicune, I just don't know. Uh, Paralyze, why not? Fortress, uh, Confusion, I think would be good for you. I don't know if any of them know Confusion stuff, but that'd be pretty good. Ditto, you are an Enigma. I'm going to give you the Berry, and then you can get the Freeze Berry. Okie doke. Is that Thunder? He does have Thunder. Nido King is, su or Nido King is super weak to Will's team, though. Every single one of them knows Psychic, and he is super weak to Psychic. I really don't know what to use against Will. I think this is where where the run dies. I don't think I can... Uh, how many times can you stack spikes? I don't know if stacking spikes existed in Gen 2. I might be wrong about that. I think maybe you can stack it up to three times? Oh my god, what do I fucking bring for you? Ugh. Okay, it has Zatu, no matter what. No matter what. I think maybe I bring Ditto. And if he leads with Zatu, I can just copy that, and then I have a, a Zatu of my own. And I can Nightshade all of his Pokemon. I don't... I mean, does Fortress do anything here? How did... Oh yeah, Bug works on... Or Bug works on Psychic, right? Which means Psychic... Or Bug should resist Psychic, and Steel resists Psychic. So I guess he can't really do anything to me. So I guess I could lead Fortress and just set up Spikes, Sandstorm, and... Then I guess just use Rollout? But, oh, but then, again, the Zatu, uh, where uh, it'll just nightshade me down. Uh, I wish I had a, a normal type so that they couldn't nightshade. Uh, I do think that's the strategy, though. Honestly, even just setting Fortress out and literally just using Rollout might be, might, might be the best start. It sh uh, But then there's also that Clefable that knows Fire Blast. That could be an issue. I think Kadabra might know something, too. I do have a normal type. Ditto doesn't count. <laughs> what am I going to not transform with Ditto? Uh, Rollout is super effective on Zatu, but Zatu knows Nightshade, which means it only needs, uh, I think, four hits to kill Fortress. I don't know if it'll survive that. If it leads with Zatu, I'm in danger. But if it doesn't lead with Zatu, I might be able to get Rollout started. Let's go with Fortress. Uh, I don't know what to do against that Clefable. I'm going to bring Ditto. 
to see if I can copy one of their Pokemon. And we're going to use Suicune because Geodude is hard walled by uh, by Giga Drain from Executor and Zatu. And then Feraligator might be okay, but Feraligator can't really do anything. Like, it knows Dig, but I don't think Dig works on any of these Pokemon, really. And then Water Gun does nothing, because my special attack's not very great, and it's a weak move. And they all resist Dynamic Punch, except for Clefable, because they're all Psychic types. So, Dynamic Punch doesn't really work here, either. Even though I would love to try and hit a 50 accurate move again. I guess I, I, guess, I, guess I can Dig with it. It just sounds so stupid when I say it out loud. But I think Dig from Feraligator might be stronger than... Uh, than Bubble Beam from Suicune. And they also have, they still have, uh, they still have Giga Drain, so I can't really bring Suicune or Feraligator. Fuck, what do I even do here? Well, I mean, I guess Suicune has better Spadef, so Suicune is the last choice, and it's, li it's literally that simple. All right, let's hope Rollout works. Did it his not, his not to, uh, or Zatu? I'll try. I'm going to try with Fortress first, and if that doesn't work, Ditto's our second option, and then I don't know what the fuck to do after that. Don't lead Zatu. Don't lead Zatu. Don't lead Zatu. Don't lead Zatu. Could work. He doesn't have a lot of physical defense. Not setting anything up. Just going pure rollout. Let's go. Got to give it time to build. Oh, he knows Fire Punch. Ah! And just like that, <laughs> it's over, dude. What the fuck? Ah! Okay. Sorry, just spacing out. Um... I could bring Ditto, but Kadabra's going to get a free hit on Ditto, and it's going to do a lot of damage, so I'd rather just use Suicune. What will be next? Plus, I don't think Kadabra has any moves that uh, that hurt itself uh, really well, so it just, just doesn't seem worth it. It's already over, though. Let's be real with ourselves. It's already over. I'm going to go for Gust, because it's physical, and Kadabra has no defense. Fucking Thunder Punch. Of course you do. Psychic, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. Just as much coverage as you can possibly cram on one Pokemon. You have you have this coverage, Kadabra, and you have Clefable. That feels rude. I didn't even do any damage, dude. I fucking hate this game. I can't get rid of this goddamn Suicune. All right, let's see what Bubble Beam does. It's gonna get uh, paralyzed here just to really drive it home. That did do a lot more. I don't think that would have killed if I did two of them, so I don't feel bad about uh, about using uh, Gust first, but it does still suck. Oh, hey, we're back under uh, 30 hours. Let's go. Okay. Uh, fucking ditto, dude. It doesn't matter. We, are, we already know we lost. We already know we lost here. Remember when Thunder Punch and Fire Punch were considered special moves? And for some reason, Alakazam can learn them. Wasn't that a cool thing that Pokemon did? Alright. Me and this... <laughs> me and this 37 health Kadabra. Sorry, 47 health Kadabra. Remember before Imposter existed? And he knows Shadow Ball. I guess he does know a move that can hurt itself. Okay. Fuck you, Kadabra. Oh, he wins. Never mind. Sorry. I lied. He wins. Literally swept by a Kadabra. You know what, Maz? You're banned for your name. And you know what, Damien? I know you like Kadabra and Alakazam as well. You're also banned. Who else likes Alakazam? Speak up. I'm going to ban you from the chat. God, that was brutal. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't kidding. Will is like a really difficult opponent. Uh, so, like, <laughs> we're going to lose to Will a lot. Holy shit. I got wrecked. Like I said, Fortress dies to even a sniff of a fire move. It's just not sustainable. Alright, whoops. Slow Bro is our first one up. Cool. Not like all these Pokemon have electric moves. But that was Kadabra. It counts. 
<laughs> while they're, they're mazes. If anything, I'm a ghastly line here. It's just, I just, I just, I can't. I beat Claire today, and I was riding that high for a little bit. Surf and confusion. Can I, can I guess? Does Slow King have water gun and psychic? I'm glad they both have disable and growl though. Cool. Okay, I can't get two, so wiggly tough. All right. Fire punch, double edged, sing and disable. I mean, your stats are just worse than Clefairy. Actually, yeah. Why are Why are Wigglytuff and Clefairy basically the same Pokemon, but Wigglytuff has way worse stats? How did this happen? Okay. Lantern. Boy, a lot of uh, a lot of electric coverage. That would have been really cool if I was fighting a water type. Jim. Hydro Pump and Spark, and then Flail. Okay. For Alligator's back. Alright, For Alligator, I'm sorry for not using you last time. I'll change my mind this time. Now that every Pokemon on this team knows an electric and a grass move, I'm sure you can survive. Raichu. Really just stacking the electric coverage here. The electric coverage, that I don't need. Thunder Wave and Thunder. I mean... You got Quick Attack, too. I guess that could be worse. And... <laughs> okay. Hey, just a question for uh, for Wigglytuff, Raichu, Lantern, and Magneton. Where the fuck were you when I was fighting Claire? And her team of water types. With Kingdra, fucking Dragonair, which isn't a water type, it's flying. Uh, and, uh, and Lapras. Where the fuck were you guys then? Were you taking a nap? What was going on here? Thunder, Thunder Wave. It does no Swift. And it's Steel. Actually, I guess that's a good point. Magneton's pretty good. Can't be poisoned and it knows Swift. He's kind of a Koga killer. But of course, if we get Koga killer Pokemon, we just don't beat Will. That's how this works. Okay. Let's see. Uh, man, I don't know. You're bulky. Eat the, eat the berry. Don't get, uh, frozen. Don't get, uh, sleepy. Don't get burned. Don't get confused. You can't be paralyzed anyway. Actually, don't get paralyzed. Don't get confused. Uh, don't get burned. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. I don't know how this team makes it. I liked Alex Zam until Mystery, or Red Mystery Dungeon, where he has a dick until he thought you were useful. Wasn't it Alex Zam, Titar, and Charizard? Wasn't that the team? Those items are you, and they're all we've got. Oh my god. Okay. Well. What do I do now? Uh, two of my Pokemon are weak to electricity. One of them is weak to grass. I mean, I think the only ones that make sense to use are Raichu, Magneton, and Lantern. Purely for the fact that I don't think they have any moves that like actually super effective damage them. Magneton for sure, because of uh, its psychic resistance. You would think Slowbro would be a good pick, but no, I can't bring water types to this fight at all. Because uh, they'll get fucked up pretty hard. Uh, yeah, fucking Magneton. I guess I could bring Wigglytuff, but why would I? Double Edge isn't really going to do that much. Fire Punch isn't going to do very much either. And, it's, I mean, Fire Punch only really works on Exeggutor and Jinx. No, I guess that's a good enough reason. I guess Double Edge could do some damage. I just wish its attack was higher. It's got a lot of HP. Uh, hold on. Reselect. We'll lead with Magneton. We'll bring Wigglytuff. And then I guess it's either Lantern or Raichu. And I think we're going to go Raichu. But then I have to hit Thunder. But it also knows Thunder Wave. Who has a better attack? Your special attack is 116. Your physical attack is 80. Or special attack is 102. And Raichu's faster. Yeah, I gotta bring Raichu. Can't not bring Rex. I can't bring him. He's weak to everyone on the team. Magneton should do well against everything that isn't Kadabra. Yeah, we'll see about that, though. Also, Clefable also has a uh, Fire Blast. They're gonna leave with Clefable. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Clefable! Oh, it's not too. Alright, well, they're going to swap out. 
because they'd be stupid not to. Uh, I'm going to use Thunder Wave to paralyze whoever comes in. Yep. Oh, an abrupt Pokemon twist. Oh, it's Giraffe Rig. Why Giraffe Rig? To my knowledge, it knows Stomp and Psybeam. He's going to fly like an idiot. <laughs> oh my god! You would have a paralyzed cure berry, you prick! Get ready for the stomp strats. Oh my god, it knows earthquake! No! Not like this! Magneton, you eat this! It doesn't have any attack! You eat this! You eat this! You eat this! Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm fine. I can't believe it had the berry. I can't believe it had the berry. They're ready to go. Oh, it's Wiggly Tuck. This game sucks. Will this Pokemon avenge the honor of its fallen comrade? The number of remaining Pokemon is two to three, but it's still early. Just double legend. Okay, we eat a lot of those. A furious attack. Hit. That That's not bad. Damage. That'll uh, that'll kill with another one. It's okay. All right. Okay. Crit here, just to rub it in. Okay. The problem with double edge is that it does do a lot of damage, but also it hurts me. In what? world do you live on one in what fucking world do you live on one what the fuck do you mean <laughs> i just it did 86 damage it did 86 damage the first turn and it did 74 damage the second turn what do you mean how do you go from 86 to 74 what the fuck happened? This is so mean! This is so fucking mean! I hate you. Get fire punched, nerd. What's this? The hit right off. <laughs> this sucks. This fucking sucks. No, I know, I know, low roll. Thank you, Under. I'm aware. I know how Pokemon works. It's just insane that it would happen then. It's just insane. This game is so stacked against you. I think that's literally max roll versus max versus min roll. That's Pokemon Stadium, baby. And then we got fucking Clefable. Uh. Double edge. Okay. Good. I wanted that to happen. Ready? I'm gonna fuck up the Zatu. I'm gonna smack him real hard. Good. Good. Well, Raichu, my friend, my buddy, needs you to. Do some work here. I'm not... I'm not going to bother Thunder Waving. Because it doesn't matter. I'm going to go Thunder, because this idiot's going to... This jabroni's going to fly. And he's going to get thundered in the air. Or I'm just going to hit first. 70 accurate, let's go! Okay. I'll take that. I don't know that Raichu goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Clefable. I hope so, but I'm not 100% sure. So, we'll find out. Here we go. Yeah, of course. 
Okay, it needs to hit two more. The white hot battle continues. I didn't do that for the speed drop. I knew I was already faster than Clefable, but really banking on it getting paralyzed maybe at least once, but I'm gonna bet that's not in the cards here. Miss! What was I thinking? Clefable doesn't miss Fire Blast. Of course not. I, I legitimately think, and this is rude of me to say, it sounds a little sore loser-ish. I do think that Clefable is hacked to like have more accuracy. Of course it goes for the move that can't miss. Okay, cool dude. Every time I think we have a rough battle, somehow there's one right after it that's worse. Somehow there's one right after it that's just even worse. Again, I will not get a Pokemon that walls Koga and a Pokemon that can beat Will in the same randomizer. It just can't happen. I will say, I do regret using Thunder Wave now. I wish I'd done a, uh, another Thunder. It wouldn't have mattered in the end, but... It would have given me more hope, I guess, that it was that the fight was closer. Raichu did pull that back, though. Raichu did uh, did pretty good work, even though it missed that one thunder at the end. It didn't matter. Being, hitting that uh, that clutch one against Zatu was pretty good. All right, finally some real Pokemon. What is Sentret now? I think Sentret is a setup mod, isn't it? Headbutt, Shadow Ball, and Rollout. Why? <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, Pokemon Stadium. I see what we're doing here. I don't appreciate it. Oh, hold on. The only unknown we, here we can get is Z, and the unknown I got was A, so I think we have to roll again, guys. I think that's the only... I think that's the only uh, the only logical explanation here. We just have to re-roll because it's the, I can't get the A unknown. It's not in the game, so I gotta try again. Lick a tongue. Okay. <sighs> what is lick a tongue now? Shadow Ball, Surf, Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam on lick a tongue is not bad. Its attack is not as good as I would like it to be. Actually, its stats in general are not as good as I'd like it to be. Ooh, we got Sand Slash. Under, what do you got for me? What is Sand Slash now? It does no Earthquake. That's pretty good. Uh, Sandstorm as well. I mean, in theory, that could be somewhat good against Koga. Speed's okay, but not going to outspeed anything on, against Will. Special attack and special defense are pretty bad. Uh, all right. <laughs> Here's all the Thunder Pokemon I couldn't find earlier. Or Electric Pokemon, sorry. Electabuzz is pretty good, if I remember correctly. I think he has Swift, Thunder Punch, and... Light screen. Light screen could be pretty good against uh, against Will. All of his moves are, f are special attacks. Light screen and just fucking thunder punch away. That might be the move. I think he's also faster than all those Pokemon, except maybe Jinx. Uh, Electabuzz is just actually a really good Pokemon. And Victory Bell. I am not feeling like we're about to have Victory because you are also part poison. What do you have again? Is it like Sunny Day and Solar Beam or some shit? Growth, Solar Beam, Sleep Powder, and Acid. Yeah, you're not... I mean, your your physical attack is good. For Acid. And then your special attack is pretty good. Actually, Victory Bell's got pretty decent stats. Okay. Also, I guess Victory Bell can't be poisoned. That's something. I'm not bringing Sentret. I'm not bringing Sentret. Not bringing Unknown. Lickitung, uh, don't get... Burnt. Because you're... A physical attacker. You're also a physical attacker, but I'm less worried about you. Uh, don't get... You can't be paralyzed, because you can't be... Except from Body Slam, so... Don't get... Confused? No. Uh, no. Burnt Berry. You don't get confused. You just have the normal berry. Alright. Actually, that's my dad. I don't got any big bros. You don't have any Aniki? You guys can all be my Kyodai. I'll be your Aniki. That's fine. Isn't the female version Aniki? No, Aniki is uh, is like boss. Uh, 
Bro, I'm not a weeb. I don't fucking know. <laughs> fucking got him. Why is Jinx so fast? Because it tries to run away from its problems. Any more questions? Okay. Those words aren't in the Bible. <laughs> uh, I'm going to lead with Electabuzz. Uh, we're going to bring Lickitung for some YOLO Hyper Beams. And I'm going to bring Sand Slash... No, I'm not. Sand Slash is a good Pokemon, and their moveset is good in this, but... Zatu can't be hit by it. Uh, Executor resists it, and... Jinx does bad things to it with Ice Punch. I guess it does okay against Clefable, Kadabra, and Girafrig, though. But I think that's going to basically seal the deal and make them bring Jinx. Because, uh... Victory Bell is, is weak here. Sand Slash is weak. I think I should bring Sand Slash anyway. I don't know the options. And it'll, hit, it'll hit it harder than Victory Bell. So, it, make, it just makes sense. Alright, here we go. All right, Electabuzz, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give out my best anime Electra, Electabuzz call real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> Is that good, guys? He's absolutely going to switch here. He'd be a fool not to. I'm sorry, Zot. He'd be a fool not to. Um, I think I light screen here. Just set up the, uh, the less amount of damage, and then we start attacking whoever gets pulled in after. Yep. It's gonna be elective, or it's gonna be executor because it resists. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. How much does Thunder Punch do to an executor? Oh, actually, you know what? I guess we just proved that he doesn't have a uh, giraffe rig because he was switching to giraffe rig if uh, if he had it. I don't know what Executor has, which scares me. Uh, what do my other Pokemon have again? Lickitung has Shadow Ball, which I, is physical in this, so I guess I could use Shadow Ball against it. And Hyper Beam. Uh, Sand Slash has Earthquake, but ground or er, but uh, Grass resists Earthquake, so that wouldn't really work here. Yeah, I guess just go for Lickitung. It's gonna have EQ. Good chance. Blah, 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 blah. Sludge Bomb. Well, that wouldn't have really worked. But I also can't really damage him, so. Alright, Shadow Ball it is. Definitely slower. I just don't think Lickitung's attack's that good. So it's not going to do a super a lot. Everything has EQ and Nick is weak to it. That tr That's true for every Pokemon game. Across every single Pokemon game from Gen 1 to 10. That did 50? I think that's a good amount. I think he still needs two more sludge, beams to sludge bombs to kill me, so he might kill Lickitung before I get that last hit in, but... Oh, great. That's what I wanted to see. Now I'm definitely dead. Crit. Oh, that sucks. If I'd known he was going to poison, I would have uh, hyper beamed. Yeah, I can't really do anything else here. Go for Hyper Beam on the off chance that he misplays. Supersonic might have helped. Yeah, but it was also 60 accurate and I couldn't really waste it. I didn't have the wiggle room to try and pull off a Supersonic. I don't like that the rightmost head, or I guess his left, looks like it's like goading against me. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we stole your health. Uh. I mean, it knows Giga Drain, right? So, Sand Slash is out. I gotta Electabuzz it. Oh, also, you know what? Fuck, dude. I just realized that, uh... Yeah, that light screen was the only thing stopping it from using Psychic. Fuck, that sucks. I could Leer and Swift, but that seems like a stupid move. Do we think that the, the stab on Thunder Punch outweighs the the not very effective like do we think thunder punch will still do more than swift i kind of think it will i also think i should just pull up another light screen anyway but then again it just says sludge bomb so it's just it seems like a waste of time 
Oh, I don't know what to do here. Do I set up the screens again? Or do I just go for Thunder, thunder Punch? I don't know how much light screen is really doing. Especially when they just have alternate. I think once I get past Exeggutor, light screen will be helpful. So I'm going to try and Thunder Punch through it, and then a light screen after. A para would be great here. Did like 30. So I need two more, assuming he doesn't Giga Drain. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I think I have to light screen to survive this. So I'm going to light screen. Since I have to light screen anyway and Sand Slash is coming out, I might as well. It'll help against Giga Drain. Yeah. We would not have lived that without light screen. Let's get a para! And then let's, um, let's get it so he's actually paralyzed. What's this? Giga Drain from here? I don't think Giga Drain kills him. Oh, it's stabbed, so it might. God, this thing's a menace. I can't do it. I couldn't beat the Exeggutor. No, it's over, because because Sand Slash can't beat Zatu. God, dude, their coverage combined with their resistances and stuff. I'm fighting, like, a better Elite Four than the actual, like, games have. Like... Like, this Elite Four is, like, objectively stronger than the Elite Four in, like, red, blue, uh, gold, silver, all of that. And it's like, you're the Pokemon you have are so bad. Couldn't even get the kill, dude! It's so Jover. He's gonna get back more health than the damage I dealt. Yeah, it's over. Under, you literally don't have this. You because you can't beat Zatu. Because it can't be hit with Earthquake. You don't have any other moves. Oh, that was weak. Will this do it? Whoa! Can it keep going? It's managed to hang in there. I'm so tired of getting absolutely swept by Pokemon in this game. <laughs> this sucks, dude. I can't believe it had Sludge Bomb! Light Screen should have been a shoo-in against Will, but he has one Pokemon with one physical move, and he just has the perfect solution here. This sucks. I mean, we would have lost anyway if he just brought Giraffe Rig, so it was against us. Oh, this is brutal. This is so hard. I really, really thought, uh... I really thought that Claire was difficult, and Price was difficult, and Jasmine was difficult. The Gulf? between Claire, Bryce, and Jasmine, and the Elite Four is crazy. I can't even get past the first Elite Four member anymore. Like, Jesus. All right, chat, I'm gonna set the expectation now. We're gonna do 10 runs. We've already done six, so we've got four more. We're gonna fill out the register Pokemon page, and then when that's done, I'm calling it a day. And we'll, just, we'll, we'll end the stream by erasing all of our teams. Sea King? I think Sea King has Horn Drill. That could be pretty fun. Yep, Horn Drill, Waterfall, Flail. Okay. Azumarill. More water Pokemon for this very grass move heavy team that we're going against. Uh, waterfall, Rain Dance, Icy Wind. I mean, Rain Dance could be good if we pull another Pokemon that knows Thunder. Moltres? I'm gonna fuck that Exeggutor up. I'm gonna use Ember on it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it up. Fire Blast, Sky Attack, Endure, and Roar. Sky Attack is physical, Fire Blast is special. I mean, Moltres is better than, uh, than Suicune was, at least. So that's good. Fire Flying. Magby. That is not a Pokemon that knows Thunder. Sunny Day and Flamethrower and Confuse Ray. I mean, pretty fast, actually. Pretty decent attack, pretty decent special attack. Magby's not too bad. Happy still birthday, <laughs> still birthday. Thank you, Draco. Why is every legendary trio using Roar? Because they're so strong. We got Pidgey, the true bird type. 
You're not Dodria. You'll never be Dodria. Uh, Steel Wing, which I guess kind of, I mean, th these stats are awful. I'm not using this fucking Pidgey. Haunter. Haunter used to be the best Pokemon Pokemon Stadium because he had Psychic, uh, and I think he had Thunderbolt. Uh, he does not have those anymore. He does have Shadow Ball, which is Stab, and he's got Giga Drain, and he has Destiny Bond if we really want to be a dick. Uh, I mean, Shadow Ball... Oh, uh, no. Actually, Shadow Ball sucks on Haunter. Because it's physical. And Haunter's attack is 81. So, really, we've got Giga Drain. <laughs> That's it. Dude. What have they done to you? <sighs> Alright. I don't know if I've just been missing it. I haven't seen you hydrate all stream. This bottle was full when I started. It's because I do it really fast. All right, let's get started here. Uh, items. Don't get uh, confused. Don't get burned. Don't get paralyzed. Uh, don't get frozen. You don't get an item. And the berry. All right. Let's get back to it. Chat. I'm wearing takeout tonight. I've decided. I'm getting takeout tonight, and I'm not going to feel bad about it either. Okay. Shadow Ball does get stabbed. It's not enough to cover the low attack. <laughs> the stream's going to start filling the bottle with vodka. Yeah. That's That would really help me win Pokemon Stadium, is, is being drunk. I'm sure I'll make the best picks then. Let me just... I've been doing this for a couple hours. Let me just double check on my uh, uh, on my emails and stuff. Okay. All right. What are we doing against you? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. I mean, theoretically, Shadow Ball works pretty well against these. Uh, but then I also am weak to Psychic, so that kind of negates itself. Moltres can do decent damage, uh, especially to Jinx and Executor, but not much else. It does resist. It doesn't get Earthquaked because it's flying type, so there's that going for me. Still didn't have anything to go against Zatu, though. What did Magby have again? We could try Confuse. Sunny Day, Flamethrower, Confuse, Ray Strats. That could be fun. Sunny Day works for Flamethrower and, flame, or, and Fire Blast. That might not be the worst idea. Um... There is also Seeking. Seeking's got pretty good attack, uh, which would work on Flail. And we could just literally just try for YOLO Horn Drill strats. I don't know if I'm at that point yet. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I've reached that yet. Icy Wind would work on Zatu, would work on Executor. Uh that's it though. Uh But then again, weak to... Yeah, Sea King and Azumarill are weak to Giga Drain from Zatu and Executor. So I think I have to sit those two out. Uh, I'm going to go Magby for Sunny Day, Moltres, and then Haunter. Whoa, Nick, I'll cash happy $10 for a takeout if you wish. Why wouldn't you just donate it? Also, $10 for takeout. Where, where are you ordering from? I want to go there. Magby should be pretty okay here. What is the, what is Steel good against in, again? I know it's good against Ground and Fairy, but I don't remember what Steel did before Fairy type existed. I know it resists a couple different typings. I don't remember how it works offensively, so I don't know what Steel Wing does. Or Iron Tail, sorry. Do I go for the Confuse Ray first or Sunny Day first? Uh, let's go for Confuse Ray. It's good against rock, too. Oh, it's rock, not ground. That's right, it's weak to ground. Oh, ice. Okay, so it could work against... Uh, oh, here it is. Here's the demon. I should have sent you did. Yeah, you would get confused, idiot. I know you have an anti-paralysis berry. You don't have an anti-confusion berry. All right, they're going to earthquake, so we're absolutely swapping into to Moltres here just to eat it. I didn't get a chance to pull off Sunny Day, but I think the Confuser will be good, too. Oh, 
Haha! I have a strategy. Um, you are psychic normal. So I guess. Oh man, I don't have that many fire blasts though. Maybe I should wait for Sunny Day. I wonder if Giraffe will switch out or just use Psy Beam. I think I'll just use Psy Beam. Am I gonna Sky Attack? Am I gonna be stupid and fucking Sky Attack? It is a two turn move, but it'll do a lot of damage. Oh, Fire Blast 85. I thought it was 70. Um. Do I save the Fire Blasts for Sunny Day? Do I just use them now because I'm not going to get a chance to Sunny Day? Do I Sky Attack and just... I mean, Fire Blast makes more sense because 120 over 2 turns is 240 and this is 140 over 2 turns. And it's not weak against flying, so it doesn't make sense. And they could also just swap out to Zatu. I'll use Fire Blast. Nope. Couldn't get confused. That'd be too lucky for me. That did a lot more than it should have. Okay. Wow, that did a lot. I think if I sunny dayed, that would have killed... Damn it, dude. I hate the idea that I misplayed. The AI never gets confused, never misses a move. No, it's just like, it's just impossible. I'm gonna miss this fire blast. I'm gonna I'm gonna yell really loud when I miss this. Okay. <sighs> Think about my girlfriend. Think about how attractive, beautiful, and kind she is. <sighs> okay. Zati's back. I mean, the good news is that Magby doesn't get fucked up anymore. So that's that's something. I could endure, but that would be worthless. I wouldn't get a move off. Ready to go. They probably kill here. Moltres isn't super defensive. Later, Krakon. Have a good rest of your night. Status is an illusion? I guess so. I thought Confusion was, like, really busted in this, uh, this gen, too. Well, now that the Earthquake is gone, I can just fucking Shadow Ball. I mean, they're gonna Psychic here, and it's gonna hurt me really bad, but... You know... Maybe I'll live one. <sighs> this was so stupid. Why did I put Haunter out? I mean, it doesn't matter, right? I, actually, Haunter might outspeed Zatu. Maybe I just Destiny Bond. No, because if I Destiny Bond, I'll live with one fucking HP. Chat, what are you thinking? Should I just should I just take out the Zatu? Just go for a Destiny Bond, assuming that it kills me in one hit? I think I'm faster. I don't think Shadow Ball is going to kill. Because my attack's not very good. And I think Zatu has pretty good special defense, too. I'm, I'm gonna lay out a... I'm gonna lay out a Destiny Bond. For better or worse. And a crit? Oh, you fucking idiot. You fucking fool! We're both going down, bitch! Let's go! All right. Just Magby now. A lot riding on Magby. I don't know what their last Pokemon is. I hope it's Jinx or Executor. Okay. So Executor knows Psychic, Sludge Bomb, and Giga Drain. I don't know what its fourth move is. Do I Confuse Ray or Flamethrower or Sunny Day or what? Oh, man. This is so much pressure. Confuse Ray didn't work for me before. But it could buy us some time. I don't think Flamethrower kills from here because Executor is super bulky. So I think I either need to Sunny Day or Confuse Ray. I just don't know which one. I don't think I one-shot it. I really don't. Uh, all right, chat. Well, you guys want to? You guys want flamethrower? If this doesn't kill, chat. If this doesn't kill, I think I go first. Executor is pretty slow, and Magby's got 110 speed, so I think I should go first. But that would mean I have to survive at least one move. I'm too afraid that he's gonna. I'm gonna lose. We'll, do, we'll just do flamethrower. Let's keep it simple. Come on, Magby. Do it for your dad. Yeah, 
I need one more. There's the shot. No, no. Are you for real, dude? Are you fucking? Ah! What do you mean? Oh my god, a crit. It fucking got a crit. I want to remind chat that, uh, I want to remind chat that not only did it, uh, it crit, it crit twice in that match and didn't get affected by a single Confuse Ray. How am I supposed to win if the game is cheating against me? <laughs> How am I supposed to win? How am I supposed to win if it just cheats? All of its moves hit. They never get affected by status effects. They crit whenever they want. How do you win against that? How do you... How does that work? How do you do that? I felt part of my soul permanently die when that just happened. That's insane. I can't... I can't believe it got a crit there. Like, am I the NPC? Is that the... Am I the NPC? Is that... Is the game really the... Is the game the... <laughs> the fucking true protagonist? The only thing I could have done differently is that I didn't confuse Ray and I sunny did off the top. Moltres would have killed with Fire Blast and then I could have just like had Moltres for longer. That's all I had. If it cheats, you break up with it. Yeah, you'd think so. I wish that was an option. Oh, all right, Polywag. Hydro Pump, Rain Dance, Hypnosis, Body Slam. Okay. Pretty speedy, and that's about it. I hate knowing that I lost. <laughs> Fucking Zubat. <laughs> okay. I hate knowing I lost because I played one move wrong and the enemy did everything else right. Parasect. We've got a really good team here so far. Giga Drain Spore. I mean, guaranteed sleep's not bad. Okay. Blossom. Petal Dance, uh, Poison Powder, okay. Ledian again, oh boy, I'm glad. Welcome back, Ledian. I was worried that I would have a good team for a second. <laughs> There's Magmar. Magmar, not on this team, come on, man. Confuse Ray Fire Punch on this team, that's rude. All right, let's see. Poliwag, don't get fucking... Don't get frozen. You're not on the team, Zubat. Uh, don't get paralyzed. Don't get confused for Petal Dance. You're also not on the team, Ledian. Uh, don't get... Just, just have a berry. I don't know. Just have a berry. Team's looking real good. Team's looking real good. All right, our third last run. Well, this will be a quick run, we'll see. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Knowing, knowing how this game works, I'm absolutely gonna beat Will with this team, but then I'm gonna lose to Koga again. Okay, uh, fucking, I don't know. What is a uh, Parasect now? It does have Slash and it's got pretty good attack, it just has really bad speed. All right, here's the plan, guys. Here's the plan. We open with we open with Parasect. We go for Spore. Then we hit then we hit Slash or Giga Drain, and then we uh, then we win. All right, we're gonna open with uh, Parasect, Blossom, and Magmar.
Ooh, Jinx, nice. Pretty rough start. Jinx is gonna kill me with Ice Punch here. Hey chat. For uh, for those who are keeping score at home, that's three crits in a row from Will. That's three crits in a row. They're going to swap out here. Uh, there's no way they leave a Jinx in against a Magmar. Fuse Ray. It's still attacked. I called it wrong. Ready for a fourth crit? So annoyed I didn't just fire a bunch. I would have bet my life they swapped Jinx out. Oh my god, a confusion in my favor? Finally, dude? Crazy. I didn't even know that could happen. I didn't even know that was programmed into the game. Of course she lives it. Of course she does. <sighs> Ooh, two? Pokemon Stadium, you're so generous today. Chad, I'm not over that Magby crit. I'm not over it. It's still... <laughs> It still bothers me. It's still I'm still really upset about it. I can't believe I lost there. I cannot believe he crit out of nowhere. That's insane. Oh, okay. Cool. Never mind. It's over. Giraffe rig is faster. And is immune to paralysis. Oh, it's not faster. It feels bad about the triple crit. I mean one of those crits benefited us. Yep, there it is. Never confused. That's four turns for those keeping track. Four turns, Giraffe Rig has a chance to be confused and just wasn't. Pretty sure confusion is like 50-50 in this gen too, so that's pretty cool. This is a fun game. Oh, man. Alright. Pedal Dance. That's five. Giraffe rig. Never been confused in its life. Perfect clarity. <laughs> you know what it is. It's got two heads. So if one of them gets confused, the other one just does the thinking. fucking end this? Why does he keep switching? Why wouldn't he just fucking end it? I hate the stupid giraffe. I hate that stupid fucking palm tree. I hate the stupid fucking bird. Am I there, Nick? No. I died. This is my vengeful spirit. Also, under is super behind on the stream. 
Just a general reminder, guys, don't forget to, to refresh your streams every so often. Make sure you're caught up. Uh, if you want the true life hack, you can uh, set it to tomb time speed, so if you get fall behind, uh, it'll just automatically catch you up. You know, just some options for you. Oh, boy. This is... This is a lot. <laughs> so much psychic damage is being done to me right now. Our personal best is getting Koga down to one Pokemon. All right, who's next? Good start. I need another legendary on the team. Cool. Yep, that's good. All right. But this is weird because we don't even need the other four Pokemon. We already got a stellar team. Okay. Flamethrower sunny day. All right, not too bad. Electrode, okay. Memeing aside, Electrode's pretty good. Thunder, Swift, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. But uh, Thunder and Electrode's pretty good. It's the fastest Pokemon in the game. Uh, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirt. He doesn't have his sunglasses, so he's at half power, but I guess it's okay. Rain Dance Surf, and Blizzard, and Bite, okay. Attack's not very good, but neither special attack, but I wish you knew Crunch instead of Bite. And Houndour. Houndour, I believe, knows the better versions of the moves that uh, Houndoom knows, so I think it has Crunch and Flamethrower. Yep. And Sunny Day, and Sludge Bomb. I mean, that works out pretty well. We have a resistance to Psychic, so we can uh, we can just use Crunch. Doesn't have any water moves on the team, so Hondaur might actually be pretty good here. Its speed is not as good as I want it to be, though. Okay. Change some items here. Hoppip, no item. Metapod, no item. Cyndaquil. Uh, the Confusion Berry. Electrode, the, the Berry Berry. No, you know what? Cyndaquil, you can have the, the Ice Berry. You can have the Confusion Berry. Squirtle, you can have the the Burn Berry. Uh, you can have the Paralyzed Berry. Don't waste your time, just reroll now. No, 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 we're playing this shit out. That's the fun. I'm going to play this through. Do you just start over a game of golf because you got to the last hole and your ball went into the water? No, no. How does the explosion Pokemon not have explosion self-destruct? Pokemon Stadium. Second to last run. Unironically, I think this we could pull some something out here. Lead with Cyndaquil to send up Sunny Day. Uh, then Electrode because of its speed, and then Houndour because it's uh, hard walls this team. It just doesn't have the stats. Hopefully he brings uh, Jinx and Executor this time, but I don't think he will. Oh, of course, dude. Of course. The Earthquake, Ma Earthquake Master itself. Uh, all right. Hope I get this sunny day off. Well, my whole team is walled by this. So, <laughs> so we're doing great. It's over. It's way over. Ah, it's <laughs> ah, that's how I feel. Oh, he lives. Nice. Good job, lad. Good job, boy. The sunlight has turned harsh. All right, I need you to miss this earthquake and let me hit this flamethrower. Just, just fail. Let your AI like freak out and not know what to do. I'm surprised Cyndaquil ate an earthquake, to be honest. Wasting my hound hour here. Oh, it's hound hour. A hot battle All right, crunch. Here we go. Oh, you're faster? That's crazy. That's it. 
Okay? Just just crit. Just do it. Do it for the fans. It's Jover. It's so Jover. Okay. Guys, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> this is... This is brutal. This is pretty bad. Riker, I, I feel like... I mean, I explained this earlier. The entire reason... This, this game was literally built just to sell more copies of Pokemon Gold and Silver. And more po copies of Pokemon Blue, uh, Red and Blue. So that you would import the Pokemon into this game and then battle with them. That's the entire reason this game exists. This game was not meant to be played on its own. And they made that pretty clear. Alright, hit the Thunder. If you don't hit the Thunder, you're dead, Electrode, so I believe in you. Couldn't let me have it, could you, game, huh? Couldn't let me have it. Why would you not Earthquake now? What are you doing to me? Stop playing with your food. Don't let me have more suffering. Don't do this to me. That's too mean. That's too fucking mean. Did one of these games have a way to link the card and play the game on the screen? I think you're thinking the Game Boy Player. Yep. Just, just to, just to like really squeeze it in there, Will. Just to really like, really make sure I just like had no hope. Third Thunder Miss. Here we go. I'm ready. Third Miss in a row, Electrode. Let's go. Just an electrode in a dream. I'm sure this will kill Kadabra in one hit, right? Didn't get the para, so we so we lose. Getting ready for the last run. Before I get ready for the last run, guys, I just do. Uh, hey, why did the why did the people watching the stream go down when I started losing to to the Elite Four? Do you guys not believe in me? What is this? Let's do one final. Is this the run? <laughs> Before I even pick the Pokemon, people leaving the stream because they can't watch me lose. How dare they? Alright, one last team. It's because it's nearly midnight? That doesn't make sense. Why are all of you voting yes that this is the run? You know better. Come on, what are we doing, guys? Alright, first Pokemon. Zatu. Is mine going to be as good as his? Answer is no. I think I'm missing one of the moves that his has. I think it might not. I think Zatu might not have Psychic is the, is the trade-off. Oh, that's right. I have Future Sight, Fly, Flash, and Night Nightshade. So instead of Giga Drain, instead of uh, Psychic, I get Future Sight and Flash. All right. Electabuzz is back. Okay, Electabuzz was actually pretty good. He just got hard walled by that Giraffe Rig. Okay. Fuck. Okay, Kakuna. Just, uh, just wasting the slot, huh? Just, just, just don't want to, really don't want me to feel hope. Okay. Swine up. Guys, I don't think this is the run. I don't think this is the run. I don't think you can will it into existence. Uh, Skarmory would be great here. Immune to Earthquake and immune to Poison. Blizzard, Earthquake, Strength. And Mist. I guess Mist can work against Koga. Umbreon. What does Umbreon have? I mean, Umbreon is a dark type. That could work against Will. I don't think its moveset's very good. Faint attack. I mean, it got a stab move. Very good defense. Pretty bad speed. Special attack and attack. Quick attack, faint attack, and sand attack. Alright. And Lantern. Fortunately, we don't need a water type right now. Or an electric type. We already have one of those. 
Hydro Pump, Spark, Flail, Supersonic. Alright, I mean, it's a team. Watch Kakuna be the best Pokemon with its Harden. How? How? It, it literally can't attack. It literally can't attack. What do you mean? Um, don't get paralyzed. Right? Yeah. Or, yeah, don't get paralyzed. Don't get confused. No. Don't get burned. No. Don't get slept. You don't get a berry, Kakuna. Don't get uh, burned. Don't get confused. And the berry. All right, we are on the last run of today. Let's, uh, boy, let's go for it. It's, it's, it's going to be one of the teams of all time. I like that a lot of the yeses turned into noes once I picked the Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Boy, I just want to beat Will. So we have two electric types, so they're absolutely bringing Giraffe Rig. They'd be stupid not to. Uh, I'm going to bring... Zatu does have Nightshade, so I can do consistent damage no matter what. And it has Fly, which works on Exeggutor. Uh, and should do some decent damage to Giraffe Rig. Yeah, that might work against Giraffe Rig. I'll do Zatu, Umbreon, and Electabuzz if we beat the Giraffe Rig. I guess I can switch into Zatu if they uh, if he does use Earthquake. It's a free switch. I can kind of switch around between Zatu and uh, and Umbreon just to mess mess around a bit. Be a bit cheeky. Brother. Why do you have more HP than me? Um, I mean, Nightshade works here. We should speed tie, which is concerning. So he has Psychic, Fly, Giga Drain, and Nightshade. I think he'll probably just Nightshade. I could try and Flash, but like, dude, Flash is 70 accurate and it only lowers it one tier. It's so not worth it. And it just won't matter. It wor it matters when the opponent does it. It, mat it doesn't matter when I do it, so I'm not going to bother even clicking it. Yeah, I just go Nightshade here. Um, yeah. They're ready to go. Ooh, they swapped. Switching Pokemon. Hope this isn't a normal type. Perfectly red. Perfectly fucking red. It's gonna use uh, Thunder. I'm gonna try and get a Future Sight off. Because that'll do decent damage later. It might just swap out for the Future Sight, to be honest. Clefable missing a move? They never do. Oh, okay. Alright, well, now I'll switch out. Now that I have Future Sight. Uh, we'll go to Electabuzz, because he eats that. I wonder if he'll swap back to Zatu for uh for the future site. This is still gonna do a decent amount, more than I would like it to. You can't paralyze electric types! That's bullshit! <laughs> Alright, there goes my speed bonus. Uh fucking light screen. They're gonna swap out to giraffe rig here. Ready? Here he comes. Here he comes. The demon himself. Yep. I wrote this game. I did get my light screen off though. That's helpful. Ooh, it took the future side into <laughs> fucking 30 damage, dude. Awesome. Alright, swapping into Zatu. So I can dodge the earthquake. Why would I switch to Umbreon? It's gonna earthquake. Nothing. The Predicted. No so it has Psy Beam, but not much else. Uh, I need to hit three Nightshades. 
it might swap out back to Clefable. What this? That caused no damage at all. It's a normal type, Nick. Oh my god, dude. Did it just use fucking Shadow Ball? Is that its last move? Is it Shadow Ball? I hate this team so much. How is it this good? I forgot Giraffe Rig was normal type because all it uses is Earthquake and Psybeam. Earthquake, Psybeam, Shadow Ball. What's its fourth move? Jesus. This thing's a menace. Just crit and kill it. Give me a fucking break. Nope. Oh, that did nothing, dude. Swapping out to Zati was worthless. Oh my god. This thing sucks. It is psychic. It's psychic normal. I don't know why it's normal. It should be psychic dark with its weird ass tail, but what the fuck do I know? Alright, Embryon, can you take us home? No? Crazy. Just in time. I, yeah, also, yeah, Shadow Ball and Earthquake aren't affected by Light Screen. Oh, this sucks. Earthquake, yeah, it's still its best move. I should resist it a decent amount. It's not Stab. Yeah, I have a pretty high defense. I thought it was pure normal because fuck typing. I thought it was still Psychic type. I thought a lot. Did a good amount. I'm gonna eat another one. I still don't know what to do against that Clefable, unfortunately, because Faint Attack isn't going to be as good against Clefable. Yeah, dude, why not get another crit? You've earned it, dude. I don't get crits, but why wouldn't you get more? Oh my god. I it, like. I know I keep saying it, it does feel like the game is cheating. Like, the amount of crits, the amount of ignoring statuses, like, the amount of times it gets statuses, the game is cheating. And I don't feel guilty saying that. Alright, it's going to Nightshade here, so I only have two of these. I hope it's two, two is enough to kill. I don't think it is. Oh, never mind. I need one to kill, so it's already over. Oh my god, this Zatu is so good! Two wouldn't have even killed. Okay. Quick attack for damage. Cool thing about Electabuzz is that he's paralyzed, so he won't uh, he won't get the uh, that quick hit because of course, of course, Clefable got the paralysis on a thunder that it shouldn't have hit. Of course it did. God, it, I just feel like even when I should be doing good, I just can't because the game gets lucky, and I get unlucky. It's brutal. You have to play so perfectly, and the AI will still just run circles around you. It's over. Died to a Thunder and a Psychic. Oh. I cannot make progress anymore. <laughs> I just, like, I keep getting hard-walled. Will's team is just too fucking good. The Giraffe Rig is gross. The Never Missing Clefable is gross. The Zatu is really gross. It's just impossible. Did he crit me again at the end? At the end, I missed it. Alright, remember all the good teams we had? There was the winning team, the one that beat Claire. This is the one that, uh, that also somehow got Takoga. Or, sorry, two of these teams got Takoga. And then every other team here fucking lost to Will. Every single one of them. Didn't matter what, what Pokemon I had, Will is too good. <sighs> I, I get it now. I get why this is so difficult. I, I'd seen videos, I'd, like I'd known about the challenge, I knew the Elite Four was the true final boss. Like, beating Claire is when we beat the tutorial, <laughs> is what it feels like. This is where most of the playthrough is going to be. All right, one more, one more. I can't leave on that, I can't. I need hope in my life. I can't keep leaving on these devastating losses. We need one more. All right, you know what, maybe I do leave on a loss. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's not too bad. 
All right. I've got a. Uh, I've got the reason he's gonna bring giraffe rig. Okay. Okay. Psychic, sweet kiss, encore, headbutt with for those stats. Okay. <laughs> I said I couldn't leave. Uh, couldn't leave like this, and the game said, "You'll leave on a on a run that's worse." All right. Uh, Beedrill. You would think that a uh, that a bug type would be good against the psychic gym, but Twin Needle is our move. Twin Needle is our move, so not really, not not really. Houndoom is back. Okay, Houndoom can actually do work here. Houndoom is pretty good against both of these gyms. I gotta remember to bring Houndoom for Swift next time. I absolutely fucked that up the first time. Boy, game, I'm I'm begging you, just one, please, just one. I don't I don't think that's it, game. I don't think. I don't think a Pokemon weak to Psychic is, is the is the is the move here, but it is immune for Koga if we can somehow get there. Don't get paralyzed. You're not getting a berry. Uh, don't get burned. Don't get confused. Normal berry. Uh, don't get frozen. Farfetch does have Sword Stance. Sword Stance is pretty good if you can get it set up. I just think that I lose to Sword to really any Pokemon that they throw out there because I have uh, they have a lot of electric coverage. I got to be worried about Kadabra and uh, Clefable. Farfetch does miss Earthquakes though, so that could work out. All right, chat. One more. Truly the last one. Because I don't have it in me. I just don't have any more attempts in me. <laughs> My brain is gonna is gonna seize. By the way, we're uh, rounding hour five of the stream, might I add. Okay, let's go with, uh, I'm going to leave with Cyndaquil to force him to bring out, actually, no. Yes, we're going to leave with Cyndaquil. We're going to Sunny Day, force him to bring out Giraffe Rig. Uh, and then I'm going to bring Houndoom as well for the dark type coverage. And I'm going to bring out Farfetch'd for the switch in when he does Earthquake. I should have brought... I should have brought Beedrill. Should have brought Beedrill. Okay, it's fine. Ooh. Good opener here. Now, every time I think he's going to switch Jinx out, he doesn't. So, I think he is going to switch out Jinx this time. I'm not going to bother Sunny Day. I'm just going to go for a straight flamethrower. Jinx is probably going to kill me with a, a crit psychic, but I'm going to have done my best. Yep. There it goes. Okay, I did live. All right, I just need to get one flamethrower off. Do some damage. Well, I got burned, which means it didn't get killed, which is a bummer. You have a burn berry, dude? For real? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sick. Uh, on, the off, on the off chance Jinx somehow fucks this up, I'm gonna sunny day. Ready to go. Body slam. Yikes. Miss. Body Miss this hundred accurate move. Fuck. Yes, it's a hit. There it is. Knockout. All right, I'm gonna send in How Doom and really force him to switch out this time. One. Why the Burnberry? Yeah, I don't know. So they're going to swap out for Giraffe Rig, which is why I'm going to go for Bite regardless. They still didn't swap out. They're going to get the Paralysis here. Okay. Maybe they didn't bring Giraffe Rig. Nice, okay. 
We still have... We still have Zatu to deal with and at least one other Pokemon. Boy, I hope it's Executor. I hope it is. They did bring Giraffe Rig? And just didn't switch? I guess he just never switches from Jinx. Alright, we're bringing Farfetch'd in. Every fail reveals something new. True. <laughs> it's a good animation. I don't think so. Boy. I don't know that I'm faster than Giraffe Rig. I don't know what Farfetch'd speed is. If I'm faster, it might be worth Swords Dancing and then Slashing, but if I'm only getting one attack off, it might be better just to Slash and just go for a crit. Just go for damage. I don't actually know what the move is here. I mean, fuck it. Just go for Swords Dance. Who cares? It's the last run. You live this. You eat this. Not when it's crit. Not when a, not with a crit, you don't need it. That fucking dude, he just doesn't stop crit. <sighs> it's over. It's it's so over. Speed time, maybe? No. Okay. Just will getting his like two crits in a row, dude. Okay. How does he keep doing it? How does he keep getting away with this? His crits are insane. It's just cheating. He just gets crits every other fucking move. I can't win against constant crits. It's over anyway. Giraffe got speeds uh, Hound Doom and Bite's not going to kill anyway. I don't think I live in Earthquake. Truly, truly this game is, uh, is just cruel. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a flinch here. Nope. Of course not. Why would I get a flinch? Against Will? No. I'm glad Jinx's uh, body slam just j just enough to kill me from Earthquake. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe this game. I can't believe this game. It literally cheats. Hey chat, do me a favor. Who's still alive in chat? Who's still here? Who's who's still watching this? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Not in the comments. Let me know in the chat. I know Riker is here. Under's listening in from the side. Who's still here? Who hasn't abandoned me? Uh, we got. I'm, I can't. I just, I can't let the game do this to me. I have to get another run. I can't let it win like this. It can't end like this. All right, we got our own giraffe rig. We got Riker, Knight, Under. Okay. We got Dorothea. We got a couple people watching then. Then I don't feel bad. I'm going to keep going. It knows Psychic. Uh, and it knows Stomp. And Agility Baton Pass. Perfect. Comrade Mr. Howell. My lovely girlfriend. Uh, Johnny. Hell yeah. Alright guys. This is for you guys. We're going we're gonna to beat this. We got this. I don't even care if I beat the whole run. I just want to beat Will. Uh, we got Hypnosis Dream Eater strats. And a very bad speed. I'm probably not using Drowsy. Jigglypuff? Okay, guys, you know how I said this is the run? I don't know if it is. Body slam, sing, roll out. <laughs> I guess we could roll out. You have no defense or speed. All right. And Ledian again. No, this isn't the run, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I lied to you. This is not the run. <laughs> this is this is very much not the run. Shuckle is back. Shuckle can't do shit against this team. Zatu walls it with Nightshade. Oh, man. And Nido King is back. Okay. Chat, this isn't the run. We don't we don't beat Will here. I'm sorry for, for letting you down. All right, let's change some items around. Uh, paralysis. Uh, freeze. Uh, the burn. Ledian's not getting an item. Uh, the, the berry. And confusion. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is bad. 
though. Dude, I keep losing so badly. Oh, man. This one don't count. We see nothing. Head out my wife real quick, but I'm here. I'm ready to help you, Dean. Did you all to be Dia Borman? That's a different... That's, no, that's a different thing. All right, we leave with Shuckle with Rollout. We bring Nido King for Horn Drill and uh, Giraffe Rick for Stomp. Here we go. You should have more faith in Ledian. I think I've looked at Ledian's stats, and I shouldn't have more faith in Ledian. Ledian has less attack than most baby Pokemon. I think I'm losing because you don't believe in me, Ender. I need you to believe harder. Good. Just who I wanted to see. All right, roll out. Undefeated. You gotta hit two more. I'm gonna get you with at least two rollouts. Well, I can sandstorm. <laughs> I can fucking sandstorm. I cannot believe. I think, isn't that twice that he's flinched me when Shuckle's about to start roll up? What is it about Shuckle that he, that he flinches? It seems really gross and really rude. It's going to Giga Drain. That's all, that's all that's going to happen here. Oh, he went for Sir Psychic again. Interesting. You eat the shuckle. You don't eat this. Like I said, he has this crazy ability where he almost never flinches with that King's Rock. But when he does, it's always when it's super, super critical. It's always when it's like the most out of nowhere. Alright, Nido King, I need you to eat a Psychic. I need you to eat a Psychic. And we're going to Horn Drill. And we're going to Horn Drill his entire team. It's going to be three in a row. And we're going to win. Uh, or I could hit Thunder. <laughs> I could do Thunder, which might actually deal damage. Uh, I don't think Nido King has the stats to kill with a Thunder, though. Let's Horn Drill. They're going to crit here. Okay. All right, Nido King, I believe. Nope. Okay. Whoops, that missed. Whoops, that missed. Just Giga just to really rub it in. How does each run get worse than the last? How is that even possible? How could each run get worse? I don't understand. How does it just keep getting worse? I like, I can't, it's, it, it literally is like each run he gets more crits and more like status effects and more flinches and stuff. And I make no progress. How does that happen? I'm confused. All right. I predicted it well. Or maybe I predicted wrong. I went for agility so that I could try the stomp flinch strats, but he's going to hit me with a fly no matter what. Because he sees the future? I I mean, he I don't know what. He's doing something crazy. Uh, agility again, since I'm going to go first no matter what. I might as well get a stat boost. What did my giraffe rig have earthquake? Hmm. What's this? Hit. That inflicted some damage. Wish I could have swords danced. Sparks are flying from Uh stomp. Swapped out. Yep. Who'd you bring? Who'd you bring? Oh, it's executor. Executor? Okay. Oh, interesting. I could psychic this. What's that? Cause uh it's no, it's poison. Never mind. It's not poison. It's it's psychic type. All right, we're gonna go for the stomp strats against all three Pokemon. It literally can't fail. Oh, 
We finally got a flinch. Of course, it's not a run that doesn't matter because we're going to lose no matter what. That's that's the kind of flinches that we get. All right, just uh, just three more, two more. Got through a Giga Drain, okay. Getting its health back, nice, good. Love to see it. Oh, it's over. I can't, I can't fight. It's getting more health back than I can deal. It's over. Go run a warm bath and relax. Don't fucking tell me what to do. How dare you. How dare you. I don't remember the last time I've killed a Pokemon on this team. How does... How, how am I getting worse? Alright, truly, make or break. The very last one. I, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna lose again here. It's fine. I just want one more. I just want to know that I tried. Just know that I gave it my all. Alright, Onyx... This is this is the last one, for real. This is the truly like I'm I'm ending the stream after this. Earthquake, Rock Throw, Strength doesn't matter. You're gonna get fucking obliterated. Electrode is good. If he can hit his fucking thunders, if he doesn't, if he isn't a jabroni, and if he doesn't bring giraffe rig, which he always does. Tangela. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, let's see. Giga Drain. Ooh, it has Thief. Thief could be good. There are some Pokemon that have a lot of burn, but that's probably fine. It's got a, it's got really good defense, which doesn't really matter because they're all special attackers. Uh, I'm gonna, you can growth and then Thief and then see what happens. Okay. For Alligator is back. For Alligator, you don't do well against this team. They, uh, they've got a lot of electric and grass coverage. You're, uh, you're not really meant to be here. I'm sorry, friend. I love you, but you're not good against this team. Stop trying to appear on it. Vaporeon. Chat, did you know that there's a lot of anti-water attacks on this team? Did you know? Acid armor. What does acid armor do? Melts the user's body. Oh, so it's sharp raised defense. That doesn't really matter. Waterfall. Quick attack. Uh, it's attack's not that great, but special attack's really good, so Waterfall actually does a lot with the uh, Vaporeon. Okay. And the duck. Sorry. Sorry. No. Sorry. Where are you? Surf, dig, I've got swagger. What does Psych up do again? Copies the stat changes the opponent uses. I don't think they really boost their own stats. Swagger could be fun. Swagger is a. Uh, it should be pretty good against this team because they don't. Uh, they don't use physical attacks. A lot of water coverage again. Uh, all right, let's see. Onyx, I you know I just don't know. Uh, well, I guess Onyx hard walls electric, so we could bring a water type if we bring Onyx as well because we can switch between them. Um, just uh, your HP pool is not very good, so just get the berry. Uh, don't get confused. Don't get froze burned. Uh, don't get uh, burned. Don't get to sleep. No paralysis. No freezing. All right, the true, the the true final last run for real this time. This time I mean it. Vaporeon is argu arguably the best Eevee. That's a weird way of saying Leafeon. For my girlfriend. And Espeon for me. Alright. I give up. <laughs> I'll bring Tangela. Tangela can, uh, like I said, growth and then thief should do surprising things. What is Tangela's special attack? Pretty good, actually. Thief should do a lot of damage. <clears throat> I should have uh, I should have not given it an item. 
for Thief. I messed up there again. <clears throat> um, and then Electrode works on Zatu and a lot, actually. It's just I have to avoid that Giraffe Rig. Um, but Vaporeon with Waterfall could actually do a decent amount. It just gets hard-walled by Executor, Clefable, and Kadabra. Uh, doesn't that, I need physical attacks to take out Kadabra. Oh, am I thinking about using for alligator, for dig? I can't do it. Not in good conscience. Um, we're definitely bringing Onyx for the switch for electric moves. I mean, they're not going to use electric moves if I don't bring a water type. So I guess at this point I have to bring a Vaporeon, but then I... Oh, fuck, who do I bring here? I guess I can switch into Tangela for Earthquake. Let's open Electrode. We'll bring Onyx. And we'll bring Tangela. Onyx can also wall fire moves as well, so... No, I don't feel right about it. Who the fuck am I bringing? I have to bring Tangela. They're the only one who has a stab move. Um, I don't know what else to bring, though. This is the last try. Espeon I've never seen used or, or never used or seen used. Espeon is just a really good glass cannon. In this game, I don't think it's pretty good. My problem is I need good moves. Electrode hurts Zatu really bad. And it does really good damage against the other Pokemon, and it's really fast. So I think I have to bring Electrode. Because it just hits so fucking hard. It's just that Giraffe Rig. I think it's going to bring... Who the fuck would bring... we will bring here? I have two water types, so he's probably going to bring Exeggutor. I don't really have an answer to Exeggutor. And Onyx is weak to it as well. So that's th four of my Pokemon are weak to Exeggutor. Uh, I guess I can only really use Thief against it. I don't think it's going to bring... It's going to bring Exeggutor, and I think it'll either bring Kadabra or Clefable. Actually, I think it's probably going to bring Clefable as well. Because the Clefable has fire and electric coverage, so it works against literally five members of my team. Uh, or I guess four members of my team. And then Executor works against the other four, or against it works works against four as well. I think it's going to bring Zatu, Clefable, and Executor. Uh, Onyx resists those Pokemon, but he doesn't really do anything. He doesn't really hit that hard. He works against pretty much Executor and Giraffe Rig with his defense, and that's it. Because he's got no special defense. Yeah, so I'm not bringing Onyx. So we'll do Tangela, Electrode, and Vaporeon, just for like those waterfalls, see what happens. Let's go! Jolteon was really good, but Jolteon got really, really lucky. I can't expect that performance from Jolteon every single time. Ugh. Also, Tangela is weak against a couple of Pokemon here. That's one of them. He's probably going to use Fly, if I had to guess. That would be my move. So I'm going to Growth and then Thief next turn. I just went for Psychic. Interesting. Oh yeah, I guess I'm a physical wall, not a defensive wall, so this is worthless. Dude, I can't do shit in this game! I can't do fucking anything! Oh my god, this sucks! I I really thought Tangela would have taken more than two Psychics. We're already off to a bad start. Electrode, so it can switch in uh, to fucking Giraffe Rig. Not gonna bother Thunder Waving. We're gonna go for that YOLO Thunder. Here we go. It's gonna swap into Giraffe Rig. That's what I would have done. Hopefully we paralyze here and crit and don't have to deal with it. 
Oh, it's exact to I, I knew it was going to bring this, too. I shouldn't be surprised. I've got nothing against Executor anymore, either. He walls my team. Oh, you don't have Thunder Wave anyway. Uh, I mean... We're, this is the point we're at, chat. This is the point we're at. Oh, the recording failed. Oh, that's stupid. Uh... Hey chat, restarting the recording at uh, 5 hours and 31 minutes in. It just decided to fail. Uh, so, some of the quality might have looked a little weird in the beginning. Okay, another flash, just to really make sure you can't hit anything. Oh, he hit it even though his accuracy was lower? Oh, that's crazy. I thought that didn't happen. I thought Koga taught me that one one thing that messes with accuracy or evasion is enough to make it so that nobody can hit any attacks. I thought that's how that works. Did I did I misinterpret that situation? What what happened there? That's crazy. When did it fail? It just failed. So, like two hours and thirty minutes into it. I might be able to salvage some of it, but that prob the whole Pokemon Stadium recording is probably messed up. The other two games are fine, though. I, those are separate recordings. Those are okay. Uh, water attack. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, water, waterfall. Here we go. Chat, like I said, every single run is somehow worse than the previous run. I don't know how. Oh, he actually is missing now. Great. Okay, well. You know, let's really lean into that. This is the win con. No content, just suffering. This is what it feels like. I feel like I've lost to... Yeah, there it is. I feel like I've lost to Will about eight times in a row now. I Koga is but a faint memory. Chat, we beat Claire in this stream. This is the same stream. We beat Claire in this one and just didn't... I don't, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh man, uh, more waterfall. Oh, my attack's not good. Doesn't waterfall have a chance to lower defense? I think they might have added that later. Yep. Who needs accuracy drops? <sighs> oh great. All right, well, Chad, I was trying to sneak back in, but I think OBS, uh, I think OBS crashed. I don't know if I can bring life back to the stream. Let me see. This uh, this recording is gonna be a fucking mess. Uh, yep, it's it's just over. Okay. Uh, all right, well, let me. Uh, this is this is just for you, YouTube, I guess. Hey, we lost. Uh, so. We lost. Just gonna make this real simple. We're just gonna run. We quit. Uh, that's gonna be the end of the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.